right. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to the show. Uh, of course, this is Drawn and Quarter Fan Edition here at coming at you today. And we have Manny from Good Dog Press with his skunk girl, uh, the unbreathable skunk girl, in fact. And, uh, ooh, this is going to be a lot of fun. A really good-looking character uh, having good success on the Indiegogo here just in the third day of launch. So uh, uh, awesome. We're going to go call, talk to the creator, of course, uh, uh, in a moment, as we always do. Uh, but, of course, the first thing I want to mention with this beautiful Betsy Ross flag sitting up here. I want to say happy Independence Day to all the Americans and the whole world, really, because uh, it's all of our Independence Day. It has brought us to this wonderful, wonderful uh, age of prosperity and uh, awesomeness that we have. So uh, let's all clap for the America. I'm clapping. Go with me. Yeah, yeah, America. Day can you see awesome. by the dawn's early light? Beautiful, beautiful. But so proudly we held. Okay, that's, <laughs> thanks a lot, Booster. Shut up, uh, <laughs> shut up Booster. Uh, but anyway, we're really happy to have you New guys Zealander. in here as usual, and uh, we get uh, uh, we're gonna have a fun show. Uh, the Drone Recorder Fan Edition is always cool. Uh, we get some really cool art. We got some great people in here, and we have some great people in the chat as well. But do keep in mind, uh, of course. Uh, this is Fan Speak here, uh, and uh, we have a bunch of links down below. We'd love for you to check out, uh, particularly the uh, Fan Speak over on Facebook. Uh, that uh, that community has grown quite uh, quite uh, big actually, and it's got a lot of activity. Where I think that's our biggest biggest uh, success to date. I think Booster, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Okay, it's Booster. Pretty cool. Agrees. I like seeing how active it is. I love all, I love everyone there. Yeah, I, I know it's I really agree. cool. It is cool, yeah. Um, and uh, so if you have, you're not part of that, please go over and jump on and be part of that. Uh, we have other links as well. Uh, of course, do keep in mind. We, of course, we appreciate subscriptions and like buttons. They seem to matter somehow, uh, particularly like button. I don't know exactly how, uh, but uh, that's great. Uh, but really what we need is you guys to hit that share button and uh, uh, let your family and friends and extended community know what's going on because we are live streamers. We're technically not YouTubers, as my my son really enjoys uh, reminding me all the time. You're not a YouTuber, Dad. Dad, you're just a streamer. Thanks, thanks, son. Thank you. Uh, Man, but... Little shit. I hope you beat him. <laughs> he's too, he's at a dis- arm's <laughs> distance now. He's up in Nagasaki <laughs> University, the little bastard. Uh, but uh, uh, he's talking a lot of shit, mm-hmm. bird boy. That oh, I'll oh, come yeah. right over there, boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, karate chop your ass. Whatever you Japanese do. <laughs> I, I usually usually I say judo chop. Yeah, judo okay. chop is the way you gotta judo go uh, you gotta judo mm-hmm. chop it uh, but uh, Manny's also agreeing thank you very much but uh, uh, of course uh, let's get in here I'm gonna uh, say hello to all of our uh, artists as usual we have a new guy too so uh, we're gonna get to him last and then we'll go over and talk to Manny the man of the hour uh, and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun with that but uh, uh, first of all we're gonna start it out really exciting with a lot of energy as usual Adrian hey I hope everybody had a good Fourth of July. Well, there you go. Season greetings from Adrian. Uh, always happy to have you here today. Now, uh, Adrian, we're doing Skunk Girl now. Of course, uh, you and uh, Manny uh, are good friends. You guys been uh, uh, doing stuff with each other for quite a while, actually. Uh, before I ever mm-hmm. came over to Manny's channel, you were doing stuff. So uh, you you have a really deep understanding of Skunk Girl in general. Uh, maybe a little bit of an advantage, even. Uh, so uh, what's your plan today? Uh, I got a few ideas I might pull off. <laughs> I'm kind of going to go for a uh, a theme of today type so, idea. So you're going to cheat. He's going to cheat. cheat. He's going to cheat. Yeah, yeah. He's taking up Dina's yeah. position. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Uh, now, uh-huh. Uh, uh-huh. I, I see. I see. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, good luck to you, Adrian. Uh, I'm going to come over here Thank to you. Brad real quick. Uh, Booster, could you do me a favor and say hi to Brad? Oh. I need to check... Uh, I need to check something on this mm-hmm. other side. All right. I don't Hello, know. Brad. Oh. It's me. How are you doing, man? How How are you doing? How is your July Fourth? Your uh, pretty good. I love pretty America. Good. I love American holiday. I know you do. That's why you wish big, you were American. Big fireworks and uh, is this is this the one where we thank other people? Thank. No, no, no. no thank you. What? No. He's talking about Thanksgiving. No. No. Those New Zealanders are just oh, a bunch yeah. of oh, godless heathens. Same to me. No, no uh, it's, it's not that one. It's not that yeah, one. We get to blow oh. big bombs off in our front yards. Yeah, we do. Uh, it, it's awesome. This one. Yeah. The 4th of July is basically no- really wrong. noisy and annoying. Oh, well, sure. you know, no, really. the 4th of July really comes down to this. We have barbecue in the afternoon and fireworks yep. in the night. That's it. And it's great fun. Correct. I assume, yeah. like, during uh, this, this broadcast, I'm going to be seeing fireworks all up and down. Dude, my street, I can't even so. stand a guy for so. Are you kidding me? 
You can't Guy you Fawkes, annoy the shit out of it's me. It's not even remotely the same. No, not even. <laughs> fireworks, don't Get they? Get the hell out of here, dude. What the hell? Ah, we, we, were a le- we were a legitimate revolution trying to get representation for non-representation. Nothing like that damn uh, vigilante. The only successful, <laughs> the only successful revolution. No say was very unsuccessful. That's true. Really, yeah, happy fourth, Even baby. They say the French Revolution was good. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's yeah. not going to get into that. Gonna, and of course, we have a Brazilian who disagrees. I will get to you momentarily, sir. Uh, but great to see you back here, Brad. Uh, uh, really happy to have you. Oh, here, no problem, man. No problem. I'm ready to bring it today. You know, yes. Manny's wife finally sent me those pictures. So I'm good to go for tonight. Uh, <laughs> it has started. Hey. Shots have been fired, baby. All right. I'm, I'm moving quickly down the line. Cross comics. Cross is drawing yeah. on a pink piece of paper That's today cool. because it's time. It's time. Thank you very much, Cross. And That's pink. not pink. That's it white. Is. That's pink. That's pink a piece of paper, It's a fool. Pink what? paper. It must I see be it. My lighting or something. It probably is. I'm just joking. How you doing, Rick? I haven't talked to you in a while, man. What's going on? Uh, I'm doing good. Very good. Glad to see Skunk Girl is fully funded and on the way to uh, more and beyond things. Someone was telling me you won some kind of cheesecake something or another. Yeah, the cheesecake challenge on uh, Jimmy's. It's like Jimmy's channel. It was triple oh, cheesecake. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, cool. Let's here see it. Is the piece oh. out. Oh, Naomi. Naomi and uh, Naomi. yeah, actually we Stunk got. And little girl lethal. Little girl lethal. Ah, cool, dude. Uh, actually, we got Niobe coming on yeah. next week. I think next week's uh, drone recorder. I think is Niobe. Yeah. Maybe the one after. I'm not sure. It's about a month away. I think. Maybe it's a. It's, yeah. it's coming well, I... soon, though. Uh, we are going to have Niobe on mm-hmm. the channel, and that's going to be fun. That's a cool character, actually. Uh, but uh, all right, uh, across course, we know you know Skunk Girl well, so I'm expecting big things today, sir. Yeah, I'm probably the one that's drawn the most Thanks. art for Skunk Girl so far. <laughs> Oh, no, no problem. Just I keep in mind, know. Rick, no color, dude. You, there, there's no color involved yeah, here. Yeah, I know. No, that's the rule. Uh, right? The, that is it's pink. Good. Eric agrees with me. Uh, Eric, you know, uh, we're, we have a seat here. Uh, would you like to jump in and draw yeah, with us, dude? No, Hawkins. Eric Hawkins. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, if you want to get in here, Eric, uh, I could use a, I do have a seat open, dude. We'd be happy to have you. Uh, but anyway, let me. Uh, you just uh, let me know here in the chat, and I'll uh, I'll, I'll make you a participant. Uh, but moving on, a matter of fact, you know what? I'm just going to make you a participant. So if you want to come in, you can. Uh, let me find you here. Where are you? Um, I don't even. You're not even on. I was assuming this is alphabetical. Uh, there it is, E. Hawkins. Uh, I'm uh, going in here, and I'm making you a participant right now, Eric. If you want to jump in, you can. It's in the green links in the green room as usual. Ghost of Henry, hello, sir. How you doing, man? Hello. Now you are from the land of Churrasco and uh, a wonderful Brazilian uh, place, uh, correct? Yes. What was that? Tr- tr- Absolutely correct. Churrasco, yeah. Churrasco yeah. Park. Say that. Ah, yeah, uh, Churrasco. Churrasco Park. Park. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a fantasy land. Sounds no, beautiful. It's beautiful meat that is brought to your table <laughs> until you turn over a button. It's awesome, dude. If you haven't had it, you need yeah, to have sure. it. Yeah. yeah. Barbecue. Oh, barbecue, baby. Uh, meat. No. Meat. You know, the South Americans meat. do barbecue really well. Uh, I know we Americans take pride in our barbecue, and it is awesome. But particularly, I think Texas uh, barbecue is probably the best I've had. Uh, but uh, South Americans, man, they kick on that meat too, dude. Um, but um, anyway, uh, goes to Henry. Yes, meat, thank meat, you. Meat. That's a different kind of meat, sir. Uh, but uh, tell us, are you ready? Uh, are you, <laughs> you, <laughs> do you know uh, Skunk Girl? Are you ready for it today? I think so. I hope so. Sweet. Uh, nice to have you back. As you always, we love having Ghost Henry on here because he's a beautiful man. Look at him. Look at him. That's a beautiful man. He and I got the exact, almost exact same beard. It's 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 amazing actually how similar. He's, he's okay. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't go with that beard. homosexual for him. I might, I'd touch his beard. You would. I you well, dude, you would if touch anything. In. We've established this already. Uh, yeah, I'm disgusting. Yes, I can't help myself. It's true. Uh, all right, moving down. The, uh, good luck to you, Ghost. Uh, nice to have you on, man. We have a Jiminy Cricket back and in charge. Hello, sir. Oh, hello. How you doing? <laughs> oh, there it is. Jiminy Cricket oh, has spoken gosh. to you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Mickey. That's not Shut the up. conscious 
conscious. Uh, oh, you to... Yeah, saw your shit up, Pinocchio, you little shit. Oh, God. Uh, do keep in mind, guys, this <laughs> is Drone right. Quarter Fan Edition. We are PG-13+. Plus, uh, if you're used to our normal shows where we keep things very uh, you know, open for everybody, this is not that show. And if you're afraid of those yeah, things, yeah, run, run quickly. Uh, that's what I would say. You use... uh, Brad used my this... one-if bomb. <laughs> he did he? Oh, like did? The, uh... <laughs> Oh. This sounds very much like the Jiminy Cricket that Booster drew stepping on a bunny's head. Ooh, goodness gracious. I'm bringing up an yeah, uh, old by, wound, uh, sir. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> uh, of course, we're very happy to have Jiminy Cricket here. Great artist. Uh, now, um, uh, Jiminy, uh, we're doing... We're, we're doing Skunk Girl today, and uh, the Unbreathable Skunk Girl, a uh, very sexy character. Uh, can you do sexy, sir? Yeah. I know you can do dynamic, cool muscle dudes, but can you do sexy? Um, I don't do it that often, but I'll try. I, without, without, without being lewd. Without being too lewd. So my, oh, no. I, I, I'm my, watching. my point is I want you to be extra lewd. I think you missed the point. Okay. Uh, well. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't want to go. We don't want to quite go John Dillard level. Uh, I think we want to stay away oh, from that. Yeah. Uh, but um, oh, Brad yeah. is disappointed. I heard the disappointment disappointment in his voice. <laughs> I might uh, infamous drawing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might do that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, no. Of oh, course, I, I have faith in Jimmy. First place yesterday. Yeah. Well, good luck to you, dude. It's, it's, uh, not... Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, so Eric can't come in, uh, but that's all right. Uh, if uh, someone else in here, one of the artists that's in the stream, if you guys want to take the seat we got open, you're welcome to have it. Uh, Dina was supposed to be in it. Uh, of course, she's one of our regulars, but uh, I don't know where she is today. So if someone wants that seat, uh, that uh, just uh, let me know here uh, in the chat or something, and I'll, uh, I'll, f I'll, fig I'll figure it out. Lady Celtic Moon says, no know. nips, no nips. I I, I don't know, uh, Miss Moon. Uh, uh, I, it, there might well be nips. Uh, coming over here to Michael. Now, Michael here is a new face. Now, I've spoken, uh, spoken to Michael before. I think maybe some of you guys in the community have spoken to him as well. Uh, but uh, he is new, so i got to go mm -hmm. through the process. So, uh, Michael, first of all, tell us who you are. Uh, I'm Michael Beacon. I'm the writer of a writer and colorist for uh, Seven Legions. Uh, got issue one out. Um, I'm also colorist for uh, The Ballad of Dusty Tortillas now. Um, mm. yeah, I've been in the community for a while. Yeah, no, awesome. absolutely. Yeah. Um, and uh, now, uh, when we have new faces in here, uh, Michael, we always ask the same question. Uh, so I'm going to give it to you and uh, just give us the best answer that you feel comfortable with, I guess. Uh, you know, this community right. here is a big community. Uh, it covers uh, things like Comicsgate, uh, Team Comics, uh, uh, Indie Revival. All kind of people are involved in this uh, movement that simply want to see better comics, right? Uh, so uh, the question is, what brought you over to this community? Uh, and uh, how did you get involved in art, dude? Oh. Well, I just sort of uh, found this community through uh, uh, your boy Zach, and uh, just and you know, started following all that, and then sort of saw like all these people creating their own comics, and I had the story in mind for a long time. So I, I was like, you know what? With all this going on, I can actually do this now. So cool. yeah, I, I started putting together the funding awesome. and all that, and mm -hmm. issue one's out. So fantastic. Right. What's awesome. the name of the book again? It's uh, Seven Legions. It's sci-fi, fantasy, historical fiction. Uh, picture uh -huh. Star Wars mixed with Rocketeer and a little bit of Skyrim. And then there's also okay, Samurai. Cool. So, yeah. Ah, Samurai. Sweet. Yep. Now, <laughs> I'm not completely sure, but do I see Comic Book Bob over there saying he's gonna, he'll take a seat? Uh, I think that's what I saw. Do you think I'm in draw? Yeah, let, no. let, let's let me know here in the chat, dude. Uh, tell me uh, very clearly, do you he want to come he can't. in? He's he at can't. work. That's all right. We got we got uh, plenty. I just we do have a seat, so if someone wants Hope's it, I'd be happy to. Artist. Uh, cool. Yeah, I saw that. Um, all right, Michael. Uh, now you know the character, and you're ready to go with reference and everything, right? Yep. yep. All right. All right. Well, uh, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, well, I went a little bit over there, but that's all right. No big deal. Uh, now, Manny, Sir Manny, Good Dog Press, yep. Manny. Yes, sir. I, uh, you're a little low. Could you turn your volume up a touch, dude? Ooh, that's a Maybe just a little bit closer to your mic, maybe. 
we can, can you hear me now? Maybe, can, can you that's yell that's into better. the mic for us? Yes. <laughs> I got the damn mic right up my mouth right there now. There you go. No, that sounds, that sounds <laughs> perfect right where you are. Uh, that's perfect. You stay right in that position, sir. I, 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 we can all have that image of that mic Man, right up I in know. your mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, hello, uh, my, name is, my name is Adrian. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, but uh, all right. Now, uh, Manny, of course, we're going to sit here and uh, uh, talk about your character and stuff. But before we do that, we need to get these artists going because we do have a contest here. Uh, do keep in mind, guys, that uh, contest goes for two hours. Uh, it's very simple. They can do everything that they want within a PG-13 uh, restriction, of course, uh, plus. Uh, mm -hmm. But they can use no color. That's simply that's the rule we restrict because of the mixed uh, media here. Uh, but <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, but other than that, we're really looking forward to it. And of course, uh, do keep in mind at the end we are going to have a straw poll, and uh, in that straw poll, uh, of course, there will be a winner, and the winner actually gets a chance to go over to the pro edition of Drone Quarter on Mike Miller's uh, Blacklist Universe. And of course, uh, there's a lot more people over there. It's more exposure, more opportunity, and it's awesome. Uh, but in order to do that, Manny, we need a countdown. We need these people to be right. counted down and told to draw. So please, sir, do so. What were you guys usually count down from five, from ten, from what? What? Uh, usually Whatever people you like. fail horribly. So uh, I'm enjoying to do see it from your take. Hundred, if you like. Hundred. Oh, you want to go from? <laughs> we will not do that. We won't do that. Canada, so France, guys, Germany, if go. If you guys pencil ready, be quiet, cross. Get you guys pencils ready. <laughs> Let's cross not let this countdown be like it's launching. Oh, no. <laughs> let the poor man look, uh, count down. Come on, let's do it. That was, that was awesome. That was awesome. You guys got you guys pencils ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Draw. There Boom. he goes. Wow, that was a little bit better. That was better. That wasn't the worst. I've certainly heard worse. Usually Booster does the worst. Uh, but, I, uh, mine is always the worst. I have yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I have no charisma. <laughs> no, you I, don't. Let my wee old bird be the worst. I love my wee old bird. Oh, I love my many. No homo. Oh, no. Oh, oh my god. Homo. Uh, right there. Uh, hey, Shinobi Raccoon's in here. How you doing, dude? Uh, Uncanny Kodak as well. Hey, Pablo. Pablo Romero Art. Dude, Pablo, we're doing a sexy, sexy lady today. Dude, we need I, Pablo. Hey, Pablo. I, we need, need Pablo. Pablo in here. Oh, yeah, I, please. Pablo, Pablo dude, uh, oh, we right. have a seat, man. Would you like to be part of the show and get in here and draw with us, dude? Uh, matter of Come fact, on, I'm Pablo, going straight over. Here. Yeah, I'm Dude, gonna, I'm Pablo gonna is part like... of the digital bullpen. Get your butt up here, Pablo. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually making you a participant right now, Pablo. So uh, if you can come in, please do. Here we go. Boom. Uh, yeah, if you can come in, dude, I don't know if you're busy or not, but if you can, come on in here, Pablo. I uh, would love to see you. This is a perfect uh, uh, show for you today. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, now while these guys get their foundations and structures in, I'm going to, of course, come over here and I'm going to talk to Manny a bit. Uh, so, uh, Manny. Awesome. Now you and I have, yes, uh, and many of the people here, we've been uh, talking and chatting and friendly for uh, for many, many, many months. Uh, and uh, of course, I know uh, that uh, this project is ooh, thirty plus years in the making, right? Yeah, I mean, I created this character way back when I was in high school. I mean, it doesn't yeah. look anything like what I drew in high school. But I, I was watching you, your boy Zach, watching his things, talking about Squirrel Girl. I'm like. Yeah, I got a skunk character. Maybe I should try to, you know, make her sexy and stuff. I mean, that's the whole thing. I just wanted to do something opposite from Squirrel Girl. So it just started off as like a parody. I was like, yeah. oh, whatever. I'll just go do something. And with this, I just put uh, it up uh, Deviant Art. People looked at the thing. I think I did the cover on one of Rick's streams. You know, just that's a lark. It's like, okay, I'll just do some artwork, throw it up on Deviant Art. And then people were asking me, so when is this coming out? I was like, you guys serious? You guys want to see this? And it just went from there. So this is back in September, you know, this started, you know, and the part is, I think you and Rick kind of like talked about my artwork. The first time I was, my artwork ever showed up on YouTube was on Rick's show and you was there talking about it. It's like Rick was saying, oh, look, this fan artist sent me some, some work and you guys are looking at it. You guys, oh, not bad. And then from there, I got to be on the fan edition, the second fan edition. Won that then, here I am. Oh, sweet dude, this yeah, no, tenth. of course, he this has is my been tenth on. appearance, dude. Tenth and Manny, why don't you tell him why what inspired you to come to the fan edition? <laughs> uh, because there was these two guys on the first fan edition that I thought mm -hmm. needed some help. Mm -hmm. thought, mm -hmm. I thought you guys were making fun of some of fun of his really special child, 
Mm -hmm. he, he, he was drawing this Wolverine and Professor X, and I felt real sorry for that child. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I, the the rogue, and he's come such a long way. Since he has, then, hasn't he? And the bobs oh, on the rogue was awesome. I did appreciate that. Oh lord, perfect I was, bobs. I I didn't know any of you people, so I'm watching this program and I'm like, what is going on over there? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> but then then again, I'm. Uh, the next show I was on it, so it was pretty cool. It was awesome. And yeah, then he no. got to destroy that kiwi to his face. Uh, yes, he did. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, uh, Drone and Quarter has come a long way in that time, actually. Uh, uh, I think uh, we've gotten a lot of really great artists. Uh, we've been able to have an opportunity to uh, showcase them and uh, give them an opportunity to uh, be seen. And I, I'm really, really happy with this show, uh, particularly the new format. What, what do you think of the new fo format, uh, Manny? Uh, the fact that we're now uh, concentrating on Indi uh, Indiegogo creators instead of just, you know, Superman I, I or love Batman. I'm loving it. I mean, this this was something should have been. You know, it's it's good. The timing is really good because right now you got such a great, you know, all this art that's coming out now with this this wave of the new creators that took their time to make sure their books are ready. Mm -hmm. You know, they just didn't rush out and get these books out. Like for me, it's been ten months before. You know, ten months ago we had this. I had this idea, and just now I'm getting it out. You know, so we just mm -hmm. take time, make sure that we got the best product to showcase. And this is the best time to, you know, start showcasing all this great art. I love it. <laughs> uh, poor, uh, poor comic book Bob. Uh, he has a, a song stuck in his head. She's a lady. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, She's whoa, a lady. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. And I love you it. Know, you know what's cool about that is because her real name is, well, her name in the book is Delilah. Oh, really? And, of course, Tom... Tom Jones had the great song of Delilah. So. Sure. Yeah, no, Tom Jones is a... I always thought her name was Skunk Girl. What was that? That's her superhero What's name. It? Her alias. God, Booster. Yeah, no, so alias. Nothing, alias, man. Nothing about comic It's this Delilah guy. De Fleur. Okay, it's Delilah De Fleur. Uh, well, it ruins the illusion. I don't want to know that she's a Delilah. Now all I look at her, I think she's a Delilah. I, like well, it. there's a reason to pick Delilah. You Cancel know? the stream. I don't like it. All right, fine. Oh, Lord. Uh, now, Manny, I mean, what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to go <laughs> over and I'm going to show the people the, the Indiegogo page. Uh, and uh, awesome. uh, I'm not going to share the screen here because we have all the artists and stuff going on. But uh, I am going to kind of ask questions about it and uh, just give us, give us information. Sure. So I'm going to bring that up right now. Uh, and uh, here we go, guys. Uh, now, I, it is in Japanese yen. Now, I had it, uh, had my uh, VPN on and I had switched it over so you could see the American dollars. But people said, Chester, it looks so much better in yen. Go back. So I did. And here we go. So you have 311,051 yen. Uh, great project, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but actually, it's, really, it's not bad, dude, uh, <laughs> because this is basically uh, $2,800, right? Uh, almost twenty nine. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, um, uh, you're doing real well. You've already been uh, uh, funded, uh, which is awesome. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to play this trailer. Am I going to like this trailer? Am I going to be happy with this trailer? You you're gonna like it. It's only forty eight seconds long. You're gonna like it. Okay, it, it's well, funny. Well, okay, you, no. We we need the sound up too. The sound. You need the sound. It's funny. Well, lucky for you, hey, I have a. On your side, uh, many, but it will. No, it won't. It'll so, go through. Uh, don't, I have. Don't you stress your little self. Don't stress. Yeah, uh, I do have Streamlabs set up here, so uh, of course you guys uh, in the chat will be able to hear this. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I just keep in mind, I'm really strict about trailers, though, right, Booster? You you have a fun booster. There there's there's eye candy. You'll love it. Oh okay. Well then that's good. Okay, let me come in here. <laughs> All right, here we go. I turned it on. There's a dog. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Oh my God. She killed the squirrel. <laughs> Typical. That seems Are you mad nice. enough? <laughs> oh, mm. that was funny. <laughs> That's nice, dude. Yeah, so that that was the first. I mean, I did this uh, way back when in September. Sure. October and I, I remastered it. I redrew everything. 
I'll yeah, no, uh, I saw that trailer before. Uh, you showed it to me, and that, yeah. it's of course different now. Uh, but I have seen this trailer before. But uh, it is better, dude. That's funny. Mm-hmm. I love it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Uh, all right, now, guys. Uh, of course, uh, this is Manny's project, the unbreathe. The oh, let me let me read it correctly. The unbreathable skunk girl. Okay, no squirrels allowed. That's right. Uh, let me go yes, here sir. and uh, read this overview real quick uh, for you guys in <clears throat> my best uh, uh, Edwin voice. Tired of the same old superhero fantasy and horror comics where the good guys always win? I feel you. It's time again to cheer for the bad girl. Unlike Jessica Rabbit, she's not just drawn that way. 80 pages of fun in full color. No sitting around sipping lattes in a cafe. I like it. Are you bullying Squirrel Girl again? He should be. Is that what that was? Everybody should be. Why not? Why not? Why not? All right. Will this this, uh, comic have any references to dinosaurs or women in tech? What? Uh, do they what? love? Do oh, they no. love the science? Is what he's asking. Do they? Do they the, love? Uh, do they no. love the science? A no. woman being prompted up. Oh my god! This <laughs> is a disaster. Yeah. Pope Dexter says animal cruelty. Damn right. Uh, all right, all right, Shinobi. Uh, all right, dude. Uh, congrats to Skunk Girl. Uh, great job on the idea. Uh, glad to see you all tonight. Hey, Mox, what's going on? Uh, Vic King says, uh, what's the hashtag for the drawing along uh, at home? Hey, thank you very much for reminding me of that. Uh, we do a draw along here, guys, and we would love to have you uh, come in and, uh, and join us with that. And it's very simple. Just draw a Skunk Girl here and uh, go to hashtag DNQFE. Once again, that is hashtag DNQFE. F-E, not at, Busha will get very upset with you, um, and uh, just send it on over there, and we'll look at it at the end of the show. We do every week, and it's a, it's a lot of fun. Um, uh, uh, you know, so please do that. I'm Eric, my tantrum growing. He, you are. Uh, no, I'm kind of just going yeah. through the page here, showing people some of the art, and uh, looking at some of the perks and stuff like that. Uh, it's a fun. It looks fun, uh, as the comic should be. It's a, a fun-looking comic. That's the whole thing. I mean, this, yeah. this comic book is colorful it's supposed to be fun i mean i'm i watch i looked at some of i mean most of the comic books nowadays they're all in that gray tone i didn't want to do that i want it to be the, the primary colors it's fun it's do you have a problem with gray it's not, yeah i do because you cheat every time you do great okay let's go on to the next <laughs> <laughs> all right. now um now i'm going to come yeah, back over the, uh now i'm going to come back over the page uh now and uh i'm going to go back over to the uh, uh the panel and start showing the art uh, uh manny but of course mm-hmm. we we would love to have you come on to the show so we can go into into detail into the indiegogo page and uh, uh and such uh so please do so uh just uh, get in touch okay. with me and we'll schedule a time for you to come on but uh of course we do want to come over here and uh uh, and uh, have the uh, art up <clears throat> now uh, as these mm-hmm. guys are doing it. Uh, I'm going to start here. Oh, Pablo is in here. Awesome. Uh, I'm not going to start oh, with Pablo, though. Pablo. Let's give him some chances uh, to catch up. Hey, Pablo. Uh, Pablo, you have reference. You're good to go with the uh, skunk girl, dude? Oh. Uh, he's, yeah. He's awesome. He's drawn, pa- yeah, he's drawn he this character. skunk girl for me many times. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, Pablo is a really good artist. He's good at women, too. Uh, I'm going to start with Adrian this time. I'll start on the other side. Uh, but um, So, Adrian, just so you know, you're white boxed. Uh, but uh, anyway, Manny, uh, what, uh, what I'd like you to do, if you could, uh, give us a little bit of breakdown. We know it's a, we know it's a parody spoof comic uh, to a point. We get that. Uh, it's a sexy mm-hmm. character. But what is she? Is she kind of some international spy? Is she a vigilante? I mean, what is she? Well, she's an amalgam of the best women in, in comics. You can you can look at her as Black Cat, Catwoman, Poison Ivy, and Black Widow all rolled up into one. I mean, she's she's sexy, she's smart, she she's cunning. She makes her own weapons. Her tail, she makes her her tail. It's like Felix the Cat. It's like all kinds of bags of tricks, whatever she needs. She can pull out her twin Desert Eagle. She can pull out handcuffs. She can pull out a whip. She can pull out a whatever. It's there, you know. So it's it's a mystery how she does it. We'll never now, tell. Now I remember. You never ask. You never ask a woman. You never ask a woman her secrets. Uh, well, no, it? I guess not. But uh, <laughs> you often can see them hanging out. Uh, but um, <clears throat> um, uh, I do have a question. Uh, I remember way back when I first. I, I know you've redrawn it and done a lot of changes to it, so uh, it's probably different. But uh, mm-hmm. I remember way, way back though uh, that Skunk Girl did have a couple of henchmen, or shall I say, slave boys. Uh, are they still about? Uh, yes. Yes, I mean, if you look at the first six 
pages. Uh, she does mention that she would love to have Officer D. Wolf be part of her Booster Boys. Uh oh. Mm-hmm, 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 uh -oh. Mm -hmm. Booster Boys. That's right. Yes. Booster Boys is now canon. <laughs> oh yes, my goodness. Instead of Booster Boys, it's now canon, lads. Oh it, my god. I made it. Someone should have asked me about that because uh, someone told me officially I am the booster oiled god. What happened with oh. that? How did that happen? I was drawn all oily and, <laughs> and Zeus-like. Uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, I'll take it, I guess. Uh, but, uh, yeah, no, I'm just uh, joking, of course. Uh, but, um, uh, no, uh, the r real question I was trying to ask is um, uh, how different is it from the first time I saw it to now? Because I know you went back and redid the whole thing, dude. I so, have, you know... What happens is when you're surrounded by all these great artists that push you and push you, you you get better and better. Mm -hmm. And so I just, level up. And I look, I look <laughs> yeah. Except for except for Brad, he's still stuck back there. Oh, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. <laughs> That's why if you guys ever go back and watch that video that Chester just showed, uh, there is a name on the squirrel that got that got stepped on. It does have a name. Go check it out. Go go oh, go white. I mean, blow it up. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh oh! <laughs> uh, oh no! Uh, it, it's not uh -oh. Chester, is it? No, no, it's not Chester. Okay, fine. Whew, I was worried. Hashtag, hashtag I stand on bread. Hashtag I stand on bread. All right, there you go. Love in the room tonight, ladies and gentlemen. All right, all right. <laughs> no, uh, me, me and Brad, we talk about this how many times, and we're cool with it. We, we just have fun with you. Brad, Brad's a great oh, artist. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah, yeah it's just you guys are just goofing off. Uh, Jet, Brad is an amazing yeah. artist, actually. Uh, <laughs> very happy yes. to have him in here tonight. Uh, it's been a little bit. Uh, but, of course, uh, I'm about to move over to uh, Brad. Is it Brad? No, it's, uh, yeah, it is Brad. Uh, so I'm moving over and just white box you, Brad, so, just so you know. Uh, now, um, now, yeah, so tell us, how different is it from the initial uh, uh, inception that I saw? Well, it's the same story. It's the same drawings. I just, uh, I took every single drawing. I made them, uh, I did blue, blue lines with it. And I redrew the anatomy, just mm -hmm. made sure I put I put more backgrounds into it. You know, just, you know, had to move stuff here and there. I mean, it, the story was there. The, the artwork was there. It just had to, just had to give it that, you know, you know, finish up the rough edges. Okay. So That's you didn't change, you didn't change the story layout then? No, the story layout, everything was back in September. Mm -hmm. I sent that off. I got it copyrighted, you know, back in September 18th of last year. So it's good to go. It's the same. It's the same story, just way better execution. I mean, I awesome. always say this on my show. I always say this on my show. All the guys that are going to do you guys in the go goes, don't take the cookies out of the oven before they're they're baked. That's true. You, know, yeah. you just gotta just leave it in there. When you, when it's ready, it's ready. There's no rush. Now, That's now, just for uh, uh, to put a caveat on that, I told Booster quite the opposite. But those cookies we don't want in the oven, Booster. So make sure you definitely take them out before they get, uh, you know, inserted. You leave uh, my cookies out of this chest. <laughs> my cookies are beautiful. I do apologize for the innuendo, uh, but uh, <laughs> that is cool, dude. Uh, and, uh, uh, of course, I used to, <clears throat> before I took up this new government job, uh, I used to uh, be able to come over on your show all the time, dude. And I really miss mm -hmm. it. I love over there chatting with you guys. I was free. I was free. I didn't have to follow any rules, and I didn't follow any rules. But, ah, oh, sad boy. Yeah, uh, yeah, he did. That's where Stripper story time came from. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It is from Manny's that, channel. That's yeah. where, where that was the origin knows. story. Uh, yeah, it, is it time? No, it's, no, it's not well, time. It's on no. his show. I don't care. He, he can be it on his show anytime. That's true. I can't. But uh, <laughs> we're, we're gonna we're gonna stick with Skunk Girl here for a while uh, <laughs> before I go into uh, uh, stripper skunk stories. I wouldn't want to do that to you. Uh, but um, I have respect. You see, so that she's like it? Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> Joe says what? <laughs> awesome. Uh, but uh, no, it's good to hear, dude. <laughs> and uh, we've been. Wow, excuse me. Uh, we've been waiting for Skunk Girl to launch for quite a while, dude. Uh, definitely, we need to set up a schedule and get you onto the show so we can go into depth in the Skunk Girl, dude. Uh, today, we definitely are introducing it. Uh, uh, we have our uh, our various moderators that, are, of course, are dropping in the chat. You guys go check it out. Uh, do keep in mind, uh, uh, guys, if you haven't shared this out, please do so. Uh, uh, not only sharing out this channel, this show, 
uh, so we can have more people in here watching it, which is more eyes on the project, of course. Uh, but also going over to the Indiegogo, which is being dropped right here by Booster right now, uh, and uh, get over there and look at it. If you want to back it, please do. Uh, mm -hmm. But if, if you can't back it, that's fine. Uh, uh, but hit that share button and let your uh, let your community come over and get eyes on it. This You can help in many ways, right? Yeah. Not just with money. Oh. Exactly. That's what I see all, all the time whenever I appear on other people's show. If you can't back it, you know, times are tough right now, you know, go tell a friend that might be able to do it, to back yeah. it up. That's that's a great thing. I mean, you can help support this, just not only monetarily, just the yeah. word out there. That's right. That's right. Uh, and, uh, of course, this community is awesome. Uh, you guys definitely come together and help mm -hmm. out. And uh, uh, they're, they're really – this really good community we have over here. Uh, but um, uh, just let, let you know, uh, Cross, you are being white box, dude. Thank you. Ooh, cross. Can you see? We I can see cross. Yeah, don't don't worry about it, cross. Uh, you just keep on drawing away. Uh, what we do over here, cross, uh, with the fan edition, is a little bit different what the pros do. Uh, we basically, yeah. we chatter in the background. Uh, we try to stay on topic the best we can. We always go off topic, though. Uh, but uh, what we do is <clears throat> we just keep the artist in front of everyone the whole time uh, because that's why we're here. Mm -hmm. We're here to see the art. So, uh, sure. But and once again, if you guys are drawing along, and we hope you are, definitely go over and drop your finished piece at hashtag DNQFE, hashtag DNQFE, and we will look at those at the end of the show. We always enjoy that, huh, Booster? Mm -hmm. I love seeing all the other people, all the people that, you know, they're too shy to come onto the thing, Majig, on the panel here. Mm -hmm. That's okay. You know, you're too chicken. <laughs> but we still love seeing all the art anyway. We do. Well, we've That's actually had a... We we have had a couple of people come up from the DNQ and uh, join us on the show, though. Uh, so that is mm -hmm. cool as well. We haven't got Turtle Rabbit Fox on yet, though. We have to. Although I am in He's communications. My I, I, am am in, communications. I am very biased. Yes. Oh, you are. <laughs> I am very funny. He's my favorite. He is. Yeah, he's fun. Uh, he he's very uh, 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 whimsical art form. Uh, uh, but um, uh, I do want to come over here, Manny, and I want to kind of get impressions from our artist. Uh, uh, now, I, of course, Cross is being uh, white box, but I want to ask Adrian first. Uh, Adrian, uh, you know this character pretty well. What do you think, Skunk Girl, dude? Oh, I've liked Skunk Girl ever since uh, I met Manny, and he showed me her. I was one of the first ones to draw fan art. Oh, awesome. Yes, sir. Awesome. Uh, sure. Now, of course, the one thing we've mentioned here with Adrian every time he comes on the show is how improved he is. Uh, every time he, I see him drawing, he gets better and better. Of course, he hates everything he draws, but I guess that's just an artist. Uh, but, um, uh, yeah, no, because when I came over to Manny's channel, you know, many a long time ago, there was already a big group there. Uh, I was kind of a late comer, really, I think, uh, Manny, huh? No, you were you were there pretty much at the beginning. The funny part is like, I mean, we I was on the drawn and quartered fan edition. You know, met you, met Pixel Trader, met all those guys, and we just started to hang out, and it was pretty cool. Started from there back way back in October. Well, yeah, well, of course, Pixel crazy. Trader is well, far more important than I am. But uh, thank you for no, the thank you. Yeah, you guys are all in. Come on. Well, oh. you know. Especially the my wee boss. Old bird. I just was greasing the wheels. Man. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, how about on. you, Booster? Moving down the line, uh, what do you think of the Skunk mm -hmm. Girl character? Uh, you've certainly seen this thing being uh, uh, growing and coming to life over the you know, this past eight months or so. Uh, what do you think I of the have. character? I've seen too much of her. I think she's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's an awesome little uh, character. She's definitely. A sexy little thing. She makes me feel all confused about tails. So I don't know if I'm into the tail or not. <laughs> I, I, I finding things out about myself. I don't want to know. Well, it's I the whole thing for me. Well, I don't know if that that's not true. You were telling me the other day. You were explaining to me to me what a tailed butt plug was just the other day. What are you talking? Oh my! In oh. <laughs> confidence. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I do apologize. Booster teaches me all kind of new things. He's corrupter. He's a corrupter. He corrupts the jester. He does, uh, you know. But uh, now, actually, Uncle and Cody, I'll, I'll go to come over to you, Brad, here in a second. Uh, but <laughs> Uncle and Cody, Cody asked a good question, uh, and I'm going to have Booster answer this. Uh, Booster, he says, uh, uh, Chester, I don't understand where to enter the fan art hashtag. Where? Could you explain the process? I we didn't. We kind of just assumed, didn't we? Uh, why why yeah, don't you we go ahead and explain that? Yeah. As soon as people could figure it out. Be nice. <laughs> you go on the 
<laughs> you go on the Twitter, and when you tweet something out, you just uh, tweet it on your page or anywhere, and then you just put on a hashtag DNQFV. So it's like drawing quarter fan edition. DNQFV. Yeah, yeah. You hashtag it. You don't add it, or you get me all confused. I get pissed off. I got to run around for you, and I get to spend less time drawing my skunk girl. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty easy. It's just go to on Twitter and just type it in. There it is, and just uh, and just tweet to it. You know, tweet your image to it. Uh, but uh, I do know that Pope Fire is saying that she's putting pants on her skunk girl. So awesome. Uh, thank you for drawing along there, Pope. Uh, oh, and, uh, bloody pants. I swear the, to God. Booster, talk to that girl, please. Booster. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, Eric says, just watch the fireworks. Now listening to the Capitol Fourth on uh, TV. Sweet. Actually, you know, I went and watched uh, uh, Donald Trump's. Independence Day uh, parade uh, today. Well, how was uh, it? I was really good. You know, uh, the thing I liked about it that I'm sure people will complain about. Uh, also, just to uh, let you know, uh, Ghost, no, uh, you are being white box. Trump? Yeah, no, hold on a second. Yeah, uh, Ghost, you are being white box, by the way. Uh, but uh, no, the thing I liked about it was it was really felt like a local parade. Like your hometown parade, uh, it was very quaint. Oh, okay. Yeah, it didn't have that big, you know, that big spectacle that is the Macy's Day or something like that. It was much more of a hometown parade. But I liked it though. I thought that was a good feel. I enjoyed it actually. Uh, but then again, I'm I love America, so I, you know, I'm a weirdo or something. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, but uh, awesome. Uh, now, Brad, sir. Yep. You've been around for a while, and of course, you've known about Skunk Girl, and uh, you have uh, <clears throat> made statements. Uh, oh give us your oh uh, opinion of Skunk Girl, please. We... No, I'm not, never, what? not a chance, bro. No, no. no way. Dude. Go ahead, dude. He is appropriate <laughs> to the real Skunk Girl. Whatever. No, dude, I, I think his character's fine. I mean, I love the parody on Squirrel Girl. And... I think it's funny. I'd like to see him fight it out in a book. That'd be cool. That would be you cool. Would, you know, yeah. Squirrel Girl would win. But wow! <laughs> oh my wow. god! Well, you know, she is unbeatable. She is unbeatable. Dude, the reason why she's unbeatable because she's Dow Syndrome. You can't beat it. Oh, you can't right. get away with it. <laughs> oh. You can't hit it. You so bad, right? Yeah, dude. Come on. So you got to be like, oh, oh she's unbeatable. Girl, girl. Oh, no. Well, you know, <laughs> I think. Shame on you for beating a, beating a cripple. You know what I mean? Come on. Well, she is she is a handy, mentally handicapped. That is true. Uh, but that's the modern she's diversity for true. you. Modern diversity. She used to be cool. You guys remember when Squirrel Girl was actually cool little kind of yeah, side that's what, thing? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all gone now. Uh, but we got Skunk Girl to replace it. Uh, but, yep. uh, you know, actually, I, I, what I would say uh, about it uh, is the fact that uh, I think Skunk Girl is very marketable, though. It's a it, oh, the, it's the style that uh, Manny came up with is very recognizable. It's uh, repeatable. Uh, and uh, I think everyone's going to get the joke. Uh, and then, of course, you can also have some fun action with the character as well. Uh, so I think it's a very marketable character. And this is something that's hard, right? Because uh, we've done, uh, gee, I don't know, Booster, how many Indiegogos have we done on this channel? A lot, dude. A lot. Yeah, uh, yeah but, a lot um, is the answer to that. Yeah, a lot. Uh, but um, uh, some mm. of them are marketable, but some of them are they're just not marketable, right? Um, <clears throat> they don't have that that look, you know, and I think Skunk Girl does, actually. Yeah, like Handyman has the look, Squirrel Girl, I mean, Skunk Girl has the look. <laughs> no. I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Absolutely Handyman. Well, Handyman is recognizable, too. <clears throat> he is. Yeah. Uh, I think another so one is a stuff and a hammer. Well, I think a little girl lethal stands out. I think hat. Lone Star yep. stands yeah. out. Uh, I think that the um, uh, the hero actually, Blood of Patriots, actually stands out really well. Even though that's a character that could be easily replaced, but it, it has a it has a marketable value to it, is what I'm saying. Uh, now, if we if we have to get it to a level where it's being it's actually can be marketed wide wide you know in a widespread way, uh, but I'm just talking about things that have a marketability to them, you know. Uh, Agreed. But anyway. Agreed. <clears throat> Now, uh, you got a lot of friends on here today, Manny. Uh, and just keep in mind, oh, Jiminy, yeah. <clears throat> you are being white boxer. Uh, but uh, Cross, now, okay. of course, uh, another friend here of Manny's. Uh, and he's he knows Skunk Girl really well. Uh, so, uh, 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 Rick, tell us what you think about Skunk Girl, dude. Awesome. You know, like uh, when, I, when Manny first brought, had the page up, you know, uh, I forget where I saw it first, whether it was DeviantArt or, you know, his video drawing it. I'm like, okay, where do I get this? <laughs> Everybody, I think, wants Skunk Girl. 
Uh, no, everybody needs comfort. In more ways than one. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my Here Lord. I didn't know the Piper was spicy. I didn't know that oh, Wade Piper spicy. was spicy. I didn't know that. He's a naughty boy. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Chester, you've been around for too... You, you've been away for too long. Rick is spicy have, now. Dude. It, so it's, oh, but now, what caused him to become spicy? What has changed you, Rick? You are such a good boy. <laughs> oh, I'm still a good boy. I just let some of my spiciness come out, eh? No, that that just is wrong. That is wrong. Uh, no, no, bad, bad, Rick. No outing the spiciness. Keep the fluids inside, sir. Damn Canadians! It's always these Canadians, oh, man. <laughs> Jeez. Oh lord. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a Canadian, eh? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I beg to oh, differ, no, sir. Uh, but um, uh, Scott uh, uh, Shamir is uh, saying, oh, you are going to love my drawing along today, Manny. Uh, yeah, Scott, awesome. I wish you'd come in earlier, dude. We had an extra seat, and you were on the backup, actually. Uh, but uh, I had to had to fill the seat, dude. Um, uh, glad to see you in here, though. We want to see your drawing along, please. Um, uh, Uncanny Cody says, Chester, buzz me. No, Chester, I don't remember Squirrel Girl being cool. Can you elaborate? Well, uh, they used to use Squirrel Girl back in the day. She would just show up every now and then, and they'd use her as kind of a, almost like an, a, a, a plot tool, uh, just as a comedic relief type of plot tool. And, uh, of course, she was unbeatable. She'd, she'd defeat all these things. But she was this cute little funny add-on thing. It wasn't an actual character per se. Uh, and then, of course, show her. Lord. The original one? Ah, no, I'm not going to take away from the yeah. art. Here. I'm going to stick on with the art. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, but, honestly, um, yeah. Much yes, better design. Okay. Than the new you know one. what? I will. I will. I'm gonna. I'll come over here and I'll find it. I'll show it real quick. Um, <clears throat> let's. Uh, let me. I'll do that real quick. Uh, let me. Let me show it. Real, just uh, the old skunk girl. Uh, oh, yeah. Not skunk girl. Squirrel girl. Sorry. So let me see if I can spell squirrel girl correctly. <laughs> Let me see here. No, that's the mentally handicapped one. No, no, that's definitely mentally, oh, mentally handicapped one. I've been classic one. girl. Uh, maybe. Oh, Lord. No, here we go. This one right here, right? This was the classic one, right? No, 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 no. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Maybe. Uh, where's your screen? Where's your screen? Uh, it's on the YouTube. I'm not going to uh, interfere with it. Oh, on this gotcha. side. Let, let me okay. just do classic. Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, she she was awesome. The classic one was. I mean, yeah, she was cute, but she was a little thing that was used occasionally. Uh, she wasn't yeah. uh, always uh, uh, always in there. Uh, I'm not finding. I think they probably scrubbed the internet because you know all we can have is no, uh, no, they they have her. I mean, yeah, yeah all uh-huh. we this is this is what we want. This is the skunk girl of today. This is what you get, sir. This is what you get. Take it and like it. Damn it. Uh, yeah. But she used to be a cute little thing no, and. Did. You know, like this right here. This is kind of what she used to look like, uh, kind of like that, right? Uh, but um, anyway, I'm going. Let me come back over to the art because you know we're we're doing skunk, we're doing skunk girl today, sir. Yeah. Anyway, uh, but uh, yeah, that's what it no was. No squirrels allowed. No squirrels allowed. No squirrels allowed. Yeah. Um, anyway, let me keep on going down here after uh, 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 Rick has absolutely uh, debased the entire oh. show, Rick. <laughs> me, never. I never do anything like that. So, Ghost, uh, tell That's me, That's my job. Get out of here. <laughs> that is true. Uh, Ghost, uh, tell us, oh what do you think about the character? Uh, uh, I don't know how much you know about it, but uh, what do you think about the Skunk not Girl? Not much, dude? not much. I like her. I don't know much about it. I, I think like it's her. a good-looking character, though, yeah? Yeah. Very good design. I think she's, her looks are based on an, on an actress, on a 50s actress, isn't she? It feels that way, doesn't no, it? No, I didn't. I didn't base her on any actress or anything. I just, I mean, that's how I draw my women. No, he just much, is so. saying it's like a fifty style, is what he's saying. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that fifty style pinup. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. I mean, that, that's for sure. Uh, Michael, just and so you know, you Chester, are being white box, dude. Hello, Chester. These, these artists are killing it. This is going to be tough. It always oh, is, dude. I, <clears throat> It always is. Uh, we have some really Ooh. high level artists here. You know the funny thing yeah. about it, Manny, is uh, we also have uh, with the the hashtag DNQ draw along, uh, DQFE, excuse me. Uh, we get some absolutely killer artists come in on that side too, dude. 
Yeah. That, that's going to be amazing. I mean, I'm going to have to, unfortunately, I put every single piece of fan art up on my wall. Mm-hmm. And I go through everybody's name. I give a shout out to them. I do it, you know, every so often on my on my program. And the, it used to be only two rows. It's it just explodes. I mean, we we're up to ninety one images right now. So wow. with today, it's gonna be over a hundred images. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, it's that gonna is be so cool, small. Uh, yeah. You know, trusty sidekick is kind of upset because he used to be prominent. You could see that. <laughs> <right? More laughs> <so small. laughs> <laughs> Poor well, trustee said he's, to- he's totally against this idea, Manny. Don't do it anymore. Well, uh, <laughs> actually, Manny, uh, as far as fan art goes, uh, these guys are going to have to do quite a bit to beat Tank Ferret, in my opinion. Uh, Tank oh, Ferret Lord. absolutely <laughs> killed that dude. Uh, now, of course, I don't I'm not to bring that up. Well, dude, that was a you want me to beautiful. Bring it up, you? Oh, you talk about the one where you put my head on it, the meme. Oh no no that that's funny yeah. too that was fun actually hilarious but no no I'm talking about the original piece dude that was a oh, yeah, beautiful fan art oh yeah I, I got that I can bring that up please do yeah, I mean was, that was, was gorgeous oh. yeah uh, I will but bring that, uh, one up. that is cool that you get a lot of fan art and of course that's what we've been saying guys right uh, this course is a fan edition but uh, when we uh, talk on our uh, show whether it be fan speak or comics news today or what have you we always say to everybody build a community build your community you can't just come out and expect uh, you, you know sparks to hit, uh, fly and make tons of money it happens it's it can happen but that's not how you do this you build up your community you get a community behind you and then the community expands into the rest of the community and you can uh, be successful like uh, Manny has is being so far uh, that's what you do you have to do that and of course one of the things about being building up the community as long as Manny has been doing this is getting people involved in doing fan art he's got nearly 100 pieces of fan art that's awesome dude that is awesome yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean, i'm gonna come here and wipe... wake up yeah, go so ahead. i got I, i've got the tank ferret up there right now yeah i'm, I'm gonna i'm white boxing right now look at that dude guys take a look at that that's from tank ferret what six months ago eight months ago no oh, this, this, this was from mm-hmm. october those yeah. are fantastic oh, bobs killer yeah. dude. killer piece from mm-hmm. tank mm-hmm. ferret mm-hmm. so this is what you're standing up against with fan art goes guys let me take a look at it that's a, that's a beautiful piece right there uh and uh, of course manny we we, we the, the fans demand it you're gonna have to show the meme version too sir oh lord no you gotta have to you gotta, <laughs> gotta you gotta do it i gotta go I gotta go figure out where the hell it. I know it's somewhere. That's all right. I'll go back oh, over to uh, oh, Michael. Oh, no, no. oh, 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 Boom. Oh, no. Boom, baby. <laughs> Boom. Making bias oh, sexy no. again. There you go. <laughs> there it is. Now Chester Bear is biased. Yes, he is. The bugbear oh, is in no. the house. That is hilarious, dude. We saw that come together live on Manny's channel, actually. It was hilarious, dude. Uh, I still get a big kick out of that. Uh, uh, do you get memed? <clears throat> I get memed. I love it. It's I, it's it's incredibly uh, flattering, actually. I, I do have a little troll out there that does meme me a lot. Mm-hmm. And and it, it's funny. I mean, the last meme that I saw of me, I was a very sexy uh, Jennifer Lawrence. That was pretty cool. I there you gender go. swapped in her there meme. There you go. There you it go. Was, uh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm back over to you, Michael. I'm going to move over to Pablo here in a second, though. Uh, but, um, yeah, no, that's funny. Uh, I love the community, all the good fun uh, memes, and, of course, the great fan art, too, because uh, the, the first piece you saw there for Tank Fair, that's a great piece of fan art, man. You can't you, you, oh, it, you can't nothing but happy with that. And, and, you know what the, and you know what the great part is? Tank sent that to me. I have it in my personal collection. It's oh, unbelievable. Sweet, dude. Sweet, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? I got a re- I got an offer the other day, and I need to respond and uh, take care of that. Uh, but do you remember when we had um, um, uh, oh come on, my brain just left me. Um, <clears throat> uh, uh, Jim O'Reilly, uh, Jim O'Reilly's come on. He's a really good artist. Uh, uh, we got a ton. All these guys are great artists. Uh, but uh, he he did a really cool uh, uh, Peter Mayhew uh, tribute with Chewbacca piece. It was just brilliant uh, bit of a lightning in a bottle type of moment right and uh he actually uh, uh he actually is going to send that to me so i'm going to own that piece uh he's just going to send it to- oh my god yeah i know it's 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 he's beautiful be selling that for millions 
he could do that is that is literally you know lucasfilm level uh art he put together so i'm going to be a proud owner of that uh i'm very happy about it but uh let me cat before i continue asking the same question uh let me come over here to chat real quick uh cat is upset with you manny i do apologize but uh she's not happy uh she says okay. manny never gives me a shout out uh yeah i did i used to give her a whole bunch of shout outs go look at all the videos okay everyone go watch the, the uh, about 200 hours worth of video and you can find all the cat, oh, way uh, more than 200 hours of video that's for sure but that's true we do have a lot of content it's all, it's all the receipts yeah actually <laughs> yeah, I, I have i have uh i have over 200 videos on this channel alone and seeing as each of those is at least an hour uh what are you looking at two i mean what well, that's ridiculous dude I mean, a uh, uh, ridiculous amount of uh, uh, time over here. Uh, and I know Manny's been doing this, I think, longer than me, actually. No, well, I, I came in after you. You I mean, came in after, came in okay. After. But still, I mean, yeah. it's, uh, it's a lot of content. It, it piles up quick, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Pablo, you are being... Oh, Jesus, Pablo, look at that. Uh, I know, he's killing it. Everybody's <laughs> killing it. Okay, uh -oh. Pablo, People you are trouble. white box there. Uh, uh, but uh, now um, let me uh, let me catch the chat real quick, and then I'll come over and continue the question. Uh, let's see. Uh, I, I read Cats there, where she's complaining to Manny, uh, which is which is fair. It's fair. Uh, and Kenny Cody X says, uh, however, it's interesting to point out that Skunk Girl was Manny's original bad girl, late '80s, early '90s. He broke her uh, back out of his quiver after seeing characters like Squirrel Girl and their agenda. I say that's fair. Cool. Very true. Yeah. Cool. Which, I mean, I, I did create her as a villain way back in the day, and I just, you know, I actually have the, I do have the second drawing ever done, and it's funny, when you look at that drawing that I did way, way, way back, it looks mm -hmm. like Riper did it. <laughs> <laughs> it has a Rick Piper style to it. It's kind of funny. You know? That's crazy. interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, uh, Rick Piper does kind of rub off and leave substances on everybody. Oh, Wait, he's rubbing on me. Why is yeah. he rubbing on me? Lots of rubbing. Hey, hey, it's Skunk Girl that seems to be rubbing off on <laughs> the, the Canadian the, Shield. That is fair. That is oh, fair, Lord. Rick. Okay, is fair. You boys need to stop rubbing each other, honestly. <laughs> no, I only I only rub oil on my oil burb. Money. Well, hey, That's you know, Sh Shinobi I know, Raccoon. I know, I'm sorry, I give it away. Shinobi Raccoon says, uh, "Many in the digital bullpen have helped me out quite a bit." Awesome, a shout out. All right. Oh, uh, Shinobi is killing it. He's killing it. Yeah, he is. That's true. Uh, Scott Shamira says, uh, OK, I'm ready. Uh, I'm nearly done uh, with a pencil. Sweet. And of course, he's going to drop that on the uh, hashtag uh, DNQFE. Uh, and uh, everybody who's drawn along, please do. Uh, we, we love the look of the draw alongs, guys. And don't don't get worried that, uh, oh, I'm not great or I'm not a big artist. That's all right. Just put it up anyway. It's fun. It's more of a we're we're celebrating the character. Right. Uh, so uh, get involved. Have fun. Uh, and uh, Pope Fire says, I started the Chester is bi bias meme. Yes, you did, ma'am. Uh, very much so. Well, actually, technically, you didn't. Uh, you started in response to an idiot. Uh, but uh, we won't get into that. Uh, <clears throat> McCrank says, Cat can finally relax after getting closer on Night Pope uh, after months and months. Closure on no uh, Night Pope after months and months. I have no idea what you people are talking about. Uh, all right. Uh, and uh, I've caught up. Sweet. Uh, let me come over here. Now, I think uh, the last person I talked to was uh, Ghost. So, uh, Jimny, tell us. What do you think about this uh, Sound yeah, Girl character flat. you're drawing, dude? Um, she looks fun. I like her. Uh, um, Manny's been uh, talking about her for months now, so I was looking for uh, the book coming out, so I'm glad she finally... Yeah, so am I. Yeah, I'm glad Exciting. to see it's here. Yeah. Uh, finally, yeah. and he get a comic book out, get it started and rolling, and uh, of course this is a process that takes, well, years, right? But uh, you got to get it started somewhere. So uh, it's good to see it beginning, right. yep. I think, you know. Awesome. Yeah. And Manny did it right. He uh, anticipated yeah, yeah. for months. Mm -hmm. So it's people true. were just like, begging him to get it out. And then he put it out. Half an hour. Pretty good. Yeah, half an hour, 30 minutes. We hit our first goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is cool, dude. That is cool. Um <clears throat> Uh, Josh says, uh, Chester, Pullfire wants you to ask Manny about Skunk Girl's sidekick. Mm -hmm. Do tell. Oh, Lord. 
allegedly. Fire's been trying to get into my book for how many months now? Nah. She wants me to have. <laughs> she wants to have a sidekick. But when you guys read the book, I don't think anybody wants to be skunk girl sidekick. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> so I will, I will, I will put, I will put her sidekick. I might put it in the book, and I'll just give you guys a hint. Just think, Jason Todd. Okay, that's all I'm gonna Uh-oh. say. Oh no! Oh no! All right, Jason Todd, <laughs> meaning death coming your bad. way. That's already bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm assuming, Manny, there's going to be some bearish-looking man leaning up against some wall somewhere, right? There might even be there some oil dripping there. off an elbow or something like that, you know. Hmm. 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 It could be an un, hmm. uh, unconscious uh, kiwi bird looking thing on the ground below him. You know, something like that. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the funny part <laughs> is everybody's going to think that's me. Ah, uh, maybe, right? Like, <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Actually, yeah. you and I look <laughs> a lot alike, why, dude. Why did, why did Manny draw himself in the book? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Adrian, you're being white boxer. Uh, but, um, yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, so, now, Michael, uh, you are new here today, uh, first time on, and happy to have you, dude. Uh, so, uh, tell me, Michael, uh, uh, do you know anything about this character, and uh, what do you think about it? Uh, I've I've heard a little bit about her. Uh, I like the costume design, uh, especially, like, you know, just the... Uh, not sure what you call it. Uh, yeah, costume design is great. Um, seems like a fun character. Uh, yeah, cool. Sweet. One of the awesome. more unique. Uh, one one of the more unique uh, Squirrel Girl parodies I've seen. Yeah, I think so. And, and it's funny, too. And, uh, you know, actually, I remember uh, being on the show, Manny show and uh, talking about it quite a bit. Uh, the, you know, him, uh, the process of him creating the on model uh, character that is Skunk Girl. And, uh, and you know, of course, sticking to that as you have to. Uh, that was actually a fun process for me because, you know, I feel like I'm fairly knowledgeable now. But uh, uh, in the past, you know, 10 months or for the past year or so that we've been doing this, I've learned a ton of stuff, man, about what an artist does uh and uh that of course the whole on model thing i've learned a lot about uh manny of course gave me some information as well as uh, uh as well as uh, gary shipman actually uh he had some really good conversations about how that's done and how to how to maintain that uh and how, how did you what, how did you come up with your final on model uh, uh, uh character choice uh manny uh, it, it's funny i mean i'm trying to look right now i'm trying to look for the original artwork how she looked i mean 30 something years ago i mean it doesn't sure. look like anything but this is this is a this drawing that's coming up right now this is skunk girl from august 31st mm-hmm. 2008 different that was my totally different i was like oh this is not gonna work it has pants i should not be showing this pope fire is gonna love this i mean it was you can tell this was just a total rip on a uh, rogue because yeah. it has a bomber jacket. It's yeah. got the hair, you know, the white hair with the black streak in the middle. I was like, mm-hmm. eh, that, that's not that's not cool. It's, it just didn't do anything for me. And I guess after, maybe a couple of days later, I, I took off the, the legs, you know, made yeah. it more like a Wonder Woman character, you know, put the fur on the, the chest and stuff like that. It was pretty cool. I mean, it's just trial and error, pretty much. You know, I, I don't know. What, I think I, it was a month later I put in the, the black... The Black Widow uh, shooters. So it wasn't just okay. This is the, the character right off the bat. No, it took it took a while to come up with the, sure. the that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And this this is actually the second. This is the second drawing of a skunk over. Wow, way, so way this is back, back high school time. Little little kid. Yeah, I still have this. I mean, this was long time ago. Jeez, this is back in '82 or so. I mean, that was wow. a youngin. Yeah, uh, yeah. Do keep in mind that uh, you guys like calling me old. Manny's older than I am. I'm no longer the um, oldest. Not too old. Not too much older. No, nah, no, nah, hardly. Uh, <laughs> actually, I think the difference in age between you and me is about the same as the difference in age uh, between me and Mike. Actually, uh, but um, now um, Booster. Um, uh, of course, yeah. I've, I've been. Uh, I was white uh, boxing Adrian. I'm gonna probably jump over to brad but do you have something you would like to show us uh because you, uh, right now, see it. why wouldn't you see it uh what i, I see is uh michael's hands i think uh, whose hands are those 
All right. Well, I do have something to uh, show if you if you like. It's yeah, not right, quite ready, but all right. Well, give, give me a second. I want to get my eye stab real quick. Wow. There she is. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Ezra Miller in the house. What do you think, Manny? Are you oh, loving it? Oh, oh Lord. Do, Let me go. Do, do you love it? Oh, oh my God. Oh, this, Lord. This ah. is the most disturbing yet. Whoa. The most yeah, disturbing that's something. yet. Seriously? Seriously? Disturbing. <laughs> that's something, all right. Oh, I love Lord. it, dude. Look at that. It is so wrong in oh. every way. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rooster, you need a spanking. Yes? You need a spanking. <laughs> Ooh. Woo! Don't fret me with a good time. <laughs> oh, goodness oh. gracious. I will stop punishing you now. <laughs> yes, Joshua. Booster, what have you oh. done, sir? You should have put an exclamation <laughs> point at the end of that. Uh, Brad, you are being white box. Uh, now, Pablo, uh, same question we asked everybody else. Uh, now, it's uh, you know this character, uh, Pablo. So, what do you think of Skunk Girl, dude? Hmm? What do you think of uh, Manny's character, dude? I like her what? You like her butt? He likes <laughs> her butt. He likes her butt. Yeah. All right. Then. I too like her butt. Straight and I like to her the butt. Straight yeah. to the point. Yeah. Also, uh, Bob's also. I think something's the butt of the joke there. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. Once again, Rick, no. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. Cat uh, now cat yeah. has cat <laughs> has a comment for you booster. Uh, she says that uh, you got her chest right. <laughs> um, that's uh, Zer's chest. Thank you very much. Oh, it's why. And what Zer have I done with my life? The, uh, Zer doesn't quite have the uh, male standards of what a woman's breast should be, but right. rocks that bikini anyway. That American bikini. Oh lord. Hey man. Thank God for the American bikini. Absolutely. God bless America. Although Eric is saying, can uh, you lend me one of those eye stabby things, please? Uh, no problem. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Eagle 43 says, Booster's art will inspire the next generation. Well, he's he's found oh, his no he's found what, his to muse. Suicide or? Maybe, oh, uh, but he's found here his muse, hasn't he, guys? I, Ezra Miller Absolutely. is his muse. <laughs> Ezra Miller makes me want to be a better man. He does. Uh, we know how <laughs> o, how oily hetero you are too. So, yeah, uh, yeah, extremely both <laughs> hetero and oily at the same time. Oh my god, uh, combo Bob, that's funny, dude. Pablo's like, I like her butt. That's right. Right to the point, dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, and uh, I'm moving over here, Brad. We're moving over to Cross. Cross, you are being white boxed. Why are you hurting the people like we, that? We are, Why are you hurting are the people only... like that? I'm a, uh, I'm an equal Chester, opportunity. We are only... Chester, we are only $45 away from the next stretch goal. We are really? Close, people. Yes. Wow, guys. What is that? That is what, awesome. What is the next Thank stretch you. goal? Tell us about that. Uh, the, the next stretch goal is going to be a trading card by El Guapo. Oh. There's an El Guapo trading card. So basically, uh, it's trading... going to be just a butt? Oh, it's a beautiful piece of artwork. It's amazing. Oh, a beautiful butt is a beautiful butt. I mean. uh, <laughs> well, unfortunately, it's just a, it's a, it's a frontal. It's a full frontal. It's a, it's a full Not frontal. A full, full you monkey. heard it here first. And I, I'm wow. PG 13 plus. Sweet, dude. <laughs> oh, Lord. Pablo, you need to be doing the full frontal for us, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> actually, actually, I can actually full oh, frontal yeah. furry. Oh. I think we want the full Monty. <laughs> that was the joke, so, Rick. God. Yes, I know. <laughs> so, so El Guapo piece of artwork is on my screen right now. It's the first first one on the left. All right, let me and come then, back over and white box you real quick. Yeah. First one on the left, okay. Yeah. First one on the left is El Guapo, Caesar. That's yeah, Caesar, great. yeah. He did, a, he did this on a live, live stream. And everybody was telling me, hey, man, you got to go check out this guy. He's doing your skunker. I'm like, I didn't know who he was at the time. And we went over there and checked him out. And I told him, hey, come on over to my stream because I was live streaming at the same time. And he came over. He finished it on my, my thing. I bought that off of him on, on Cross Comics. He has a 
auction. I oh, bought right, it off right, auction. Right. And great. So I, I got that piece of artwork too. And yeah, no, course, Caesar's the awesome, middle, dude. Yeah. Yeah. And the, and the image in the middle is done by Pablo Romero. So Pablo has, has done. Who did the one on the end? Was it Spencer? That's me. I did the one on the end. The oh, okay. So I, I was wondering so which one was Josh Spencer's. Yeah, it is beautiful, dude. Nice stuff. Nice stuff. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm coming back over to Ghost. You are White Boxer. Oh, look at that. Look how fast. Hello. Dude, we have an hour left. You know that, right? Do we? Yes. Mm. You're, we're oh, only wow. an hour in. Yeah. Oh, look at dude, that. That's great. Look at that, Manny. Have to start <laughs> wow. That's amazing. It is. Of course, we need to have a tail or something in there, uh, though, Ghost. Uh, I don't know <laughs> that. Uh, uh, I, well, maybe not. Screw it. Mm. Well, she she does have her she does have her signature curl. So it's true she does. Cool. I personally think there's way too much fabric in this picture, to be honest with you. <laughs> just just to behave. <laughs> oh Lord. Hey man, uh, I like me the sexy ladies. I'm not like Mr. Hetero over here. What what what? Whatever do you, whatever is that supposed to mean? It means <laughs> everybody sucks. knows. It's not a secret. God. <laughs> My camera sucks. That is really nice, Ghost. Uh, but um, yeah, no. Um, uh, hopefully, you guys will go check it away. Uh, we're we're forty five bucks away from uh, hitting that next stretch goal, which uh, of course, uh, nice. Uh, yeah, now you said it's a trading mm -hmm. card, right? Yes, sir. It's yeah, nice. Card. Uh, of course, everyone in the community um, uh, is doing trading cards, which is really cool. Uh, and uh, so, uh, if you guys haven't backed yet and you want to, uh, uh, definitely do so. Let's get them. Just get that stretch goal on the show. It's only forty-five dollars. So let's see it get hit. Uh, and of course, once again, keep in mind if you can't buy it financially, that's fine. Uh, but uh, you know, definitely share it out uh, because the more eyes, the better, right? We want to see as many people on all these projects we put forward. Um, and I know we show a lot of Indiegogo's here, and I know you can't, guys can't back them all. I get that. Uh, but uh, you can definitely share it out. It doesn't hurt you to do that at all. Let me see here. Yes, the tail is part of the costume. Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the little cur curl and the black curl definitely uh, stands it out, but uh, uh, the tail makes it. It's part of that uh, distinguishing factors, but I, I don't think Gus, Ghost should touch this at all. Matter of fact, obviously, he can do a second piece, and maybe the second piece no, will it's have like how it less clothing. Superman without the undies, right? <laughs> no, I, Superman without the red, white, yeah, Superman red, white, and yellow, I guess. Just, I was making a, I was making a joke. <laughs> Look at this. Shinobi says, "Ghost is like Peter Semeni with them pencils." Is he? <laughs> Actually, yeah. I, otherwise, I, you guys know it's Peter Semeni's birthday. Is it? Well, happy fourth and happy birthday, Mr. Semeni. Love that guy. That's really a nice good fellow. Good day. It mm -hmm. is good day. Now I know Peter does art. I know he does that. I don't know if I've seen any yep. of his art though. Uh, so he did the. So uh, the his first. Uh, Graphic novel he put out for Alterna, which was the chair, is the one that he did. Oh, really? Oh, I've seen that yeah. one. Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. There we go. Um, uh, yeah, but I, uh, Peter Semeni is a really nice guy. Uh, if you guys are, uh, he does newsprint really well. I think he's actually elevated newsprint uh, to maybe the highest it's ever been. I think he, it's really, if you ever got any of his books, it's really nice what he does in newsprint. Uh, and, of course, Peter Semeni is a really nice guy. And I don't say that just because he's been attacked by the progressive SJWs. I say that because he's a really nice guy. Yeah, he's yeah. genuine fellow. He's like Gary Shipman in a way. Uh, they're, they're a little bit different type of people. but um, Wholesome they, guys. All wholesome, nice people. Right? They care. Right? Because me, I don't give a shit, dude. Not at all. I'm nothing like them. Chess does not like your granddad. No. Oh, no. He's cool, granddad. I'm dirty, grandpa. That's what I am. Yeah. yeah. But you know what I mean. Sorry, they're I, writing fireworks off all around me. I don't know if you guys can hear it all the I'm, time. I'm happy to hear it, actually. Hey, hey, Mighty Geek Studios is in here. Haven't seen you in a while, dude. Uh, the Mighty bad Geek. girls are trying to make a comeback. Sweet, dude. Yes, sir. Yeah. But definitely happy birthday to America and happy birthday to Peter. Sure. Absolutely. You know, we really need to get Peter over here on the show. We haven't had him here yet. No, we haven't. That'd be yeah. very cool. I'll reach out to him for you. 
Yeah, cool, dude. Uh, uh, I it. mean, uh, well, I actually could contact. No, he's just really busy. I don't want to bog him really. Uh, but I'd like to have him on. We've had a couple You're of... You're scheduling uh, out far enough. You know, yeah, sure that's true. Well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, we've had a couple of publishers on here. It'd be nice to have another one, though. Particularly because he's very unique, yeah. what he does. I think it'd be a nice conversation. Because uh, we have had some really good shows here uh, talking to you know people in the industry, right? Uh, artists, uh, pencilers, colorists, uh, letterers, publishers, printers, all that. We've had all those kind of people on this show and having them uh, t- sit down and tell us exactly how they do their job. I think it's cool. Um, I do think one of the best uh, interviews we've had in that department was R.T. Bear, though. Uh, his inking tutorial he did on this uh, channel was amazing. Uh, it was just ridiculous uh and so much information in that show it was really really good and we need to get gary shipman on he said he wanted to come on and do an, uh, a a penciling uh, uh tutorial for us i think that would be cool I'll get gary over here yeah, very great skill yeah nice guy too uh but anyway let's see here shinobi says ghost has a similar idea i had with the sketch i'm doing now oh cool so shinobi's drawing along uh once again we hope you all are drawing along guys uh and uh, all you have to do when you finish your skunk girl is to send it over to on twitter uh just go on to twitter and type in hashtag dnqfe hashtag dnqfe and then just put your uh upload your picture into there and we'll take a look at it at the end of the show all right awesome, awesome. Now, um, we come to the midpoint of the show here, where we usually diverge into other stuff. Uh, uh, I am uh, whiteboxing you for a little bit, Manny, so if you want to show off some art, uh, which is a nice... Okay. I, that tail is uh, certainly having a nice day. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but uh, I'll, I'll jump over to Jimmy in a minute, but uh, if you want to show off some art, just go ahead while, uh, while uh, we're chatting. Uh, but um, Okay. It, it is the 4th of July, guys, and I want to take a little bit of time uh, to talk about that while we're here. Uh, so uh, let me go over to Adrian, uh, and you know that's, we're starting on this side today. So, uh, Adrian, dude, what did you do for the uh, Independence Day today, man? Uh, we had a nice little uh, get-together at my brother-in-law and sister-in-law's house. And the kids played with, in the pool, and we did fireworks and you know all the nines everything you would do on independence day so uh so you actually went to a house you didn't go out into like a park or something like that no we went to their house well that's interesting uh because when i was growing up we never went to a house on uh you know other holidays we do uh but on the fourth we always went to the big parks and uh just surrounded by the community uh we never went to a home uh, but it doesn't matter. I think it's just mm-hmm. as fun. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, did you guys uh, get to see any fireworks today? Uh, we shot off some, like, bottle rockets and stuff like that. But no, my neighbors are shooting off fireworks right now, actually. Ah, sweet. Yeah, we're hearing little pops in the background. We yeah. Uh, a but that... really big fireworks show at a small town near our area on Saturday. It was oh, sweet. Really fun. Oh, nice, dude. Uh, yeah, I used to love the fireworks. Actually, when I was a kid, uh, we used to take, uh, we had a couple, we were kind of crazy the way we did things, but uh, we used to, we took these pipes and uh, we'd kind of like put a little stock in a, uh, on them so you could hold them up to your shoulder and we put bottle rockets in them and we'd, we'd shoot them off at each other in like uh, bottle rocket wars. That was fun. Yeah. Roman candles, too. The other thing Those hurt, though. The other thing we did was, well, I, I told my kids, well, my daughter, the history of Independence Day, and then nice. she was curious to know the song Yankee Doodle Dandy. Oh. So we looked up the history of Yankee Doodle Dandy, which was rather interesting. There was a lot of stuff about it I didn't know. Well, do tell. Well, for, for one, it was a song written by the British to make fun of co- colonists at the time. It was. And then That's right. when the independence war started, uh, the, the, the soldiers for America turned it into a battle cry, a song for them. Yeah. They, they made it, it their out. own. Yeah. Kind of like yeah. with the, in, in the beginning of the movement here with the Commerce Gate people did the same kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, make it a badge yeah. of honor. I get it. Uh, and uh, Scott Schmier says, uh, I'm watching fireworks out my window. Awesome. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you know, Yankee Doodle, a uh, bit of uh, propaganda. Um, there's a lot of interesting things about that, but um, uh, we don't have, we don't want to get too deep into it. But uh, cool. Thank you very much, Adrian. Uh, now, Booster, 
you are from a foreign mm-hmm. land, and therefore you do not exist or count. So we That's shall true. keep you. I'm, yeah. I'm just a little New Zealand. Oh. Do you guys have a Independence Day or a Constitution Day or something like that? You must. We have Queen's birthday, I guess. <laughs> we are still with the crown. Does that count? Are you Americans just going to scoff at me? And be like, the queen. Puh. Yeah, exactly. Puh. <laughs> Most certainly. Puh. God save the queen. We're Americans. We don't believe in that nonsense. I actually get a kick. Well, no, I kind of get a kick of how many Americans actually get all glamorized over the royals. It's like, you do realize you're an American, right? (laughs) Yeah, it was kind of funny. It is weird. Uh, But, uh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, thank you very much. But, Brad, you are a true American. You're a blue blood American. True. What what did you do today? How was your Independence Day, dude? Um, My day was spending it with my ill mother. So. Oh, that's good. good though. That's good though. Yeah. Um, so did so you? So it's uh, important to be with family on that day. It is important. It is a family day. It's a community day. Uh, did you get yep. to show some uh, barbecue? Nope. No barbecue, but you got fireworks going on off outside, so that's good. That is good. I do. Yeah. Yeah. No, I had a pretty, you know, kind of lonely day today. So you know, it is. Right. Got a lot of artwork done though. I I love you, Brad. Feel my okay. love. Feel it. As, as it pulsates through the internet. Feel it. <laughs> Touch it. <laughs> you want to be on the show, don't you? Feel the love. Feel the shit. Oh, feel the love. <laughs> feel it, baby. Oh, feel it. Okay. Oh, no. okay. Uh, cool. Uh, now, Rick. Rick. I prefer not to. You prefer? <laughs> yes. No. No. You will take my love, sir. And you will oh, like whoa. it. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Mr. Me too. Me, too. <laughs> me too. What? Uh, Mr. Piper, <laughs> you are a damn Canadian, yep. sir. But, but, uh, you must at least feel the love coming off the 4th of July, Independence Day America. Uh, do you have an Independence bit. Day? Or do you just have Queen Day? Yes, we have, we have Canada Day, which was three days ago. We celebrated on July the 1st. Hey, so, Rick, I got a serious question for you. How did you feel about Justin, uh, Justin Trudeau being snubbed at the G20? You know, when every other leader would turn away from him. <laughs> yeah, Rick. I, was, I was like, who's this doing? I don't want to, don't want to be around this dude. Nobody likes Fidel Castro's song. Since, since Justin Trudeau is a joke, it's probably a good thing. He is a joke, but he's a dangerous joke, though. That's a more serious yeah, conversation yeah, sure. that I'm trying to have, though. Uh, but, uh, yeah, no. <clears throat> so, all of a sudden, I feel a lot of sympathy for Canadians. Damn you. All right. Uh, now, Ghost, of course, uh, um, uh, I'm going to move over. And um, where was I? Yeah, Jiminy. Jiminy, your white box now. <clears throat> and uh, Ghost, now, of course, oh, you're okay. from you're from South America in Brazil, uh, a, a, a country with lots of uh, interesting, great culture, really good food, actually. Uh, now, of course, you're not in America, uh, so you don't celebrate Independence Day. But uh, I'm sh- Brazil must have some kind of Independence Day of some kind. Constitution Day. Yes, it's September seven. <clears throat> Say it again. Say it again. September seven. September seventh. Uh, and uh, what is it you yes, celebrate on that day? Independence. Just straight up Independence. And how do you guys celebrate it usually? What do you do? Mm. Yeah, there, there are some sexy, or some taxi like girls dance in the streets. Yeah. Taxi girls dance in the streets. Sexy girls dancing in the holiday. streets. I like the taxi girls better. That's another holiday. That's a different holiday. Yeah, yeah sweet. Yeah, but uh, still. Appropriate. <laughs> you know, it's not, it's not really fun. Except to Oh, that's cool. You know, when I was down down in your area, I, I did see a lot of girls dancing in the street, but they had these strange bulges in their pants. I didn't understand it. <laughs> so, okay. It's just boosters kind of love. Yes, I know. Uh, but uh, uh, cool. Awesome. Uh, and most countries do. You know, the interesting thing here in Japan, of course, they have a Constitution Day. It's on February 11th. And of course, it's uh, it's commemorating the new Constitution after World War II. Uh, and the Japanese do absolutely nothing. Not a thing. No. 
Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. We, we, uh, we do have an update. We do have an update, Chester. We yes. are over the 2,000 mark. Oh. We have opened up a second, a second uh, stretch goal. Which, which, which holiday? That's awesome. So Sweet. everybody yeah, gets a uh, Japanese uh, holiday is that in which uh, everyone runs naked. Oh, that one is, uh, that's Obon. Yeah. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. Though. I'll explain that in a second. But uh, first of all, uh, we have uh, hit a stretch goal on this, which is absolutely awesome. Mm -hmm. So claps, everybody. Claps. Give me the claps. Oh, Give yay. me the love. There you go. Uh, thank you, guys, uh, in the chat. You are awesome. Uh, we do appreciate that. Uh, we want to make this project as successful as possible. Uh, of course, Manny's been putting a long time in this, a lot of love behind this, and uh, uh, we're all very happy to support Manny today. Uh, but to answer your question, uh, Ghost, um, uh, here in Japan, in uh, during Obon, Obon's weird. It's um, it's kind of like the old sewing uh, that the uh, the Celts used to uh, used to do, which we call Halloween today. Uh, and uh, some of the uh, the old uh, traditions still exist, but uh, the Obon here in Japan is m much more of the old traditional thing we used to do with Halloween. Uh, and they have some weird sex practices surrounding uh, Obon. And some of them still exist oh, to no. this day. And uh, one of them is a bunch of naked people running down the street. So uh, <laughs> he wasn't joking, by the way. Yes. yes. It's so the the name swapping? Uh... It is, actually. It is. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not kidding. I, I have had a couple of moments where I've had to keep uh, kick women out of my beds or a futon. Uh, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, a couple or, or a spouse swapping day. Uh, they do that. Uh, it's, really? Yeah. Well, hardly anymore. It's really the tradition is nearly dead. Uh, but if you go back just say, 50 anymore. years ago, <clears throat> well, yeah, but so uh, hardly. Your your wishes it was. Uh, no, I'm not interested in that at all, dude. One sure, woman is sure. plenty enough work as it is. Why would I want to complicate my damn life? Mm-hmm. <laughs> But they mm -hmm. do that. On that day, uh -huh. it's considered open and free. But like I said, that tradition is basically dead in the country. Uh, but uh, yeah, a lot of cultures basically have weird dead. stuff. Basically dead. Yeah, it still happens uh -huh. look occasionally. Uh -huh. uh, but um, yeah, there you go. anyway, uh, Michael, you are being white boxed. Uh, so Manny, uh, congratulations on hitting that stretch goal, and I hope you hit many more. Uh, but the question oh, on yes. the table is, what did you do for Independence Day, sir, down there in that land of Hawaii, the ultra-democratic, absolutely out of their damn mind progressive <laughs> liberals? Uh, what did you do? Well, so, so far I've been hanging out just drawing all day long. Uh, it's, it's, still, it's still in the afternoon. It's only 5.30, so the sure. fireworks have not gone off yet. Oh, sure. Did, yeah. you, have, so, did okay. you have a barbecue in the backyard or something? Uh, no, just waiting. Well, we started this at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so no barbecue for me right now. Mm -hmm. My wife comes home. She's so work. It's kind of like on a download tonight. We're, we're just kicking back. Mm -hmm. You know, especially, I mean, launching the book, it takes Auto a lot. So well, this actually today is just a day that's to cruise and do nothing, just hang out. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, it's not for me. I have yeah, work I think... later. Uh, but, um, uh, I, I, you know, seeing as we often hear gunshots going off in the background of your uh, uh, your videos, oh, I'm assuming you have many fireworks that would be coming tonight, maybe even aimed oh, at your house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the last time that was, I don't think that was a gunshot. I think it sounded like a gunshot. That was about a New Year's time. People make their own homemade Who are you fireworks covering for, it? Manny? He, no, uh, he, he What are you says, in on? He, he says he, they I, make oh, home... Sir. Uh, he says they make home uh, homemade fireworks, but let me actually give you a more accurate look at it. They're called homemade pipe bombs. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. just covering up for Edwin. He, Edwin. <laughs> oh, his he rival was... gang. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he takes out his oh, rival gangs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. Edwin just doesn't Bible thump. He's out there thumping those uh, those criminals. He is, yes. <laughs> that is Sam he Elliott is a, reborn. He is a part-time superhero. <laughs> you won't like me when I'm angry. Yeah. Now, um, uh, Shinobi says, uh, Jiminy Skunk Girl uh, has nice bobs or boobies. Uh, let the triggering begin. Ah, dude, no triggering here. We we're, we appreciate we don't, the boobs. We don't use that word here? <clears throat> we don't what? We boobs? Say bobs. We use them like, all the time. Like real men. Yeah, we say bobs. Oh, my God. Well, what's wrong? Bob. Bobs, breasticle, boobs, tits, racks. Well, they're all good. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. All tasty. <laughs> all fun to play with. Absolutely, <laughs> dude. Oh, what, what do you mean, oh, Lord? 
I appreciate me a nice set of bobs. I'm married. I'm not dead. Damn it. <laughs> Eric oh says. God. Eric says, love the old bone day in Japan. We'll have to see the first, see that firsthand someday. Actually, I, I mean, don't take that the wrong way. What I said, like I said, it's a dead tradition. Uh, but uh, old bone's a lot of fun. Uh, they have barbecues. They have. Uh, it's when they do their heart, their uh, scary ghost storytelling to the kids. Uh, they have like a big old uh, obon dance where they dance in a, around in a circle together uh, while playing the taiko, like we used to do for Halloween. We don't do that anymore. Um, uh, but yeah, obon's great. It's uh, one of the big holidays here. Um, yeah, okay. Karate Kid. They had it on their movie. Did they? Well, mm. there you go. That's right. They yeah, did Karate Kid too. Where they went to Japan. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, and junkyard done uh, wants to uh, uh, wants to uh, uh, somehow illiterate more. He says Bob's and vagine. <laughs> Bob's and vagine. Yes, yes. Vagine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, when I, the first time I heard the word vajj, I, I really wanted to smack someone in the head. I really did. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 What I feel like that anger will go towards. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Uh, Pablo, just so you know, you're a your white box, dude. Uh, but uh, yeah, I hate those kind of uh, cuting up of uh, language. Screw that, dude. It's a vagina, <laughs> and we love them. Vagina? Yeah. Well, except for Booster. He doesn't care for them much. But it's I all right. I think they're okay. They're okay? Okay? Just okay? All right. Fine. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, and if I've offended anyone, good. <laughs> Ooh. Wonderful. Ooh. Uh, you know, because people, uh, you know, th- this is something I've noticed. Now, Manny, uh, you and I are the same age, and yep. uh, uh, I-, I got a serious question for you. Now, you grew up in uh, an extremely lefty, uh, liberal world. You did. Uh, but um, yeah, uh, obviously, yeah. you're not so, you're not a crazy one. Uh, and, and of course, I'm joking. There's nothing wrong with a, a classical liberal anyway. Uh, most people are. Uh, but um, uh, I do have a question for you. Um, uh, over there uh, in the Hawaii, uh, don't you think... The Sharia we, states of Hawaii? Well, no, not even Hawaii. Let me just expand that to the, the, the Western world. Don't you think that people have really become soft, dude? Even if they don't know it, even if they speak out against it, don't you think the Western world has become really soft, dude? Yes, because when I was growing up, you could have been called the worst names in the world. What you did, you went up in the back and you hit each other for like about five minutes and then you went on with your life. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right. That's the way it was. And you know what? It, it was it was cool. It was like in the next day, you're, you're, you're cool with the guys. Like, okay. Yeah, your best friend. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, so yeah, sometimes you're not, but most of the time it was just like, it's done. You know, you got it done. You know, yeah. Hey, come on, stop with the fifis or anything. Yeah, it's weird because even with this group that I got in here, which are normal, commonsensical people, they're 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 not insane. Uh, but when I make these little jokes and say these little things, it, they're they're literally worried about uh, uh, this channel getting uh, copyright struck or, or or community struck, whatever they call it. Uh, and it's ridiculous, man. Are you telling me I can't use the word vagina? It is the dictionary term. Mm. I'm not using a slang or colloquialism or a vulgarity. Vagina. It's vagina. Yeah. What's wrong with this word? There's nothing yeah. wrong with Ooh, boobies. Just because Amy Schumer is going to st- uh, sue you for stealing a material. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. But unfortunately, these guys don't believe in science anymore or, you know, actual definitions of stuff. All right. Well. You guys get me talking about all kind of weird subjects. Uh, you had me a, a booster usually. He's a he's a degenerate, and uh, he's always got yeah. me talking about some kind of weird <laughs> new thing I've never heard of before. Uh, what was that thing with Jennifer Lawrence? And she had what were we calling that? What was that no. thing she had all over her face? You had a word you were telling me for that. I, I can't remember the one. Uh, I believe the term was a uh, jizz. It was a money <laughs> shot. Oh. That, no, no. Wow. I think you you use some kind of Japanese wow. word. <laughs> I can't remember what it was called. Oh, um, Lord. Anyway, um, uh, oh yeah, that what was that, that sounds like it was. Uh, that's right, Brad. What was it again? It was like Bukaki, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what that's what he was saying. Yeah, that one. And uh, yeah, they yeah. got me talking about that, Jeez. and then and then they yelled at me for talking about it. And I'm like, I'm not the one that took a picture with a bunch of jizz on my face. I didn't do that. She did that, and she put it on the damn internet. And you're going to blame me for that? Come on now. Really? Ridiculous. 
<laughs> well, did she do it for it to save the animals or something? Probably. <laughs> probably. Probably. They wanted it for PETA? Lick, lick it yeah. off of my face. I shall feed you nature's animals. It sounds like something PETA would do. You know. Oh, mm. Lord. Is, is Rick still here? Why yeah, is Rick, I'm still here. Is Rick easily offended or something? I'm sorry. No, his mom was just off. <laughs> Oh, uh, hi, hi Miss Linda. How you doing? Hello. Linda? I do apologize. Uh, these are politically relevant comments, though. Uh, do keep that in mind. Um, <laughs> uh, let me see. I've caused enough trouble. Let me see what the chat has to say. Uh, Dragon says, real men call them. Oh, I can't say that. Uh, Shinobi says, <laughs> I can't say that. Uh, yeah. Shinobi Reckon yeah. says, look all you want, but don't touch uh, the boobies. Yeah, of course, dude. Obviously, unless they belong to you. And then you can touch them all day long. Uh, Come Book Bob says, uh, by day, Edwin Boyette is the mild mannered architect, by the, by, but by night. He becomes a smooth voice of justice. Beware the dulcet tones of the evangelical or the reverend, I think would be cool too. Uh, Eric Hawkins says, so Chester doesn't like the JJ. No, I do. I just don't like the cuting up of language like that. It's ridiculous. Uh, Mighty Geek Studio says, well, uh, we'll have to do a comparison with the devil's daughter and skunk girl to see who has the best rack. Uh, what's the devil's daughter? I've never heard of that. Mm, Must be a character that, he's working I mean, on. Awesome. Uh, and Combo Bob says, every time I see my dude in a conversation, I'm out. You lose me at that point. <laughs> my dude. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, my bro. Mm -hmm. Yes and yes. Dude. Everyone is agreeing with me. See? Sorry, see? my dude. I am right. Sorry, my, sorry, my dude. Sorry, my dude. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, John Chedister says, uh, but I am memeing Indian dudes who can't English uh, with Bob's and uh, Vajana. Uh, I get it. Okay, I see. Uh, it's Bob, a I bit of it. a meme on the internet. You see Indian dudes talking to women, and they say things like, hi, dear, nice Bob's. Oh, do they? You show that gene? Yeah. I know, I haven't. It's uh, quite well, strange. Dude, it's I don't know anything about the internet and the meme stuff. You're the one, who, you're my educator in that. You're my sensei in that way. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. You teach me mm -hmm. bad things, though, Booster. You're, you're, you're bad I'm influence. Too. I'm noise. I'm feeling noise. Booster, naughty. stop being mean to Chester. Yes. I got nice. It. It's so easy. It is easy. It's too easy, right? Because I don't know nothing. Uh, yeah. It's it's weird how I I ignorant I am of uh, modern terminology. Uh, oh well. Uh, sure. Come book, <laughs> come book. Bob says uh, the one. Uh, that's one of the reasons the moderate left and right uh, doesn't stop uh, crap like uh, Antifa. Uh, they're timid and fearful. I also think it helps their cause. Uh, but uh, Shinobu Raccoon says, nowadays, someone will take down your channel because someone called you a name. I guess so, dude. Whatever. Uh, oh, yeah. Thank you, Charlie. Charlie has uh, put that word up there. Uh, it's kind of interesting uh, that how that word is used, but I guess it's actually quite uh, disgusting. Um, anyway, um, uh, Junkie, I, never, I don't understand why you would do that to someone you love. I don't get it. Uh, anyway, uh, Combo Bob, uh, no, sorry, Junkie uh, Dunn says, uh, whenever uh, they have uh, <clears throat> Nandika Ramen at a restaurant, I just giggle. Uh, well, it doesn't mean what you think. Uh, it means clouded. Uh, but uh, Combo Book Bob says, it's just like what I got put into Twitter jail for a day for using the C word. An English guy was asking why it was so bad, as it's a term of endearment there, uh, so I used it like nine times. Uh, well, it depends where in the world uh, you use that word. Uh, in America, it's it's like the worst vulgarity you can possibly use. Outside of America, it's not. It's Over in, strange. Uh, it is strange. It is, yeah. Because in New Zealand, you guys use it in derogatory term, mm -hmm. use it in a friendly term, use it mm -hmm. use it all the time. You say if it's your pals, you call them like, hey, he that guy, he's a good, uh -huh, you know? Yeah, yeah. But the Americans can't stand it. They can't stand it. If you want to, you want Wait, to tick a woman want, off. What word? Uh, the c word. Yeah. Uh, if you want to tick a woman word? off, uh, I'm not going to say that because uh, I I know it's not a big deal. But the, the as far as I'm, uh, YouTube yeah. is American, uh, and it is the worst word. You. Well, I I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I have my limits, uh, Brad. Uh, Adrian, you are being white box. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> see you next, next Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, uh, Jiminy. Uh, but. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> 
Yeah, that's too bad, Bob. But, um, you know, like I said, the, and I think one of the problems is the Internet is international. So uh, things don't always have the same meaning or feel when you're in a different place, right? This is why I personally think uh, we should do everything we can to make sure the Internet stays absolutely free and open. Uh, because, you know, we have all the laws and rules of our society in our various countries and stuff, and that's, that's fine. Uh, but uh, the Internet should be a place where we can just be free. And, and we need to get back to that, actually. Um, uh, Pope Fire says uh, uh, that she's been drawing Skunk Girl uh, for too long. Uh, well, we hope all of you guys are drawing her. And uh, do keep in mind, if you are drawing along with us tonight, which we love, uh, definitely go over to hashtag DNQFE and uh, drop it on the Twitter. And uh, we will look at it at the end of the show. Uh, I'm almost caught up. Uh, Charlie uh, uh, says that uh, real politics topic is jizz a good food source for animals. It's protein. Uh, you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Eric says, I'll say whatever I want. I ain't afraid of getting community struck. Wait, I can't say that. <laughs> Shinobi says, I am vengeance. I am knight. I am Edwin Boyette. Yes, there you go. Uh, lo- all the love for the Edwin over here tonight. Uh, and uh, I will, f- I will be freaking, I uh, will freaking cut your eyes. Comic book Bob says. Uh, Eric says, I am the loud voice that blows out your loud spe- laptop loudspeakers. I am Edwin Boya. Well, dude, that is my fault. I started that whole uh, Lone Star uh, call of Lone Star thing, and uh, y- people oh. loved it and hated me for it. So you know, that's the world we live in. You uh, should, uh, you should have trademarked that. Oh, it's all right. Uh, and we had a lot of fun with that. I love calling that out and when responding. That's before I had a channel, actually. Uh, yeah, you can't say that. Uh, the algorithm will go nuclear on you. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I've caught up to the chat, guys. Awesome. So, Manny, uh, give yes, us sir. some more information about uh, Skunk Girl. And uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the stretch goals you have planned, dude? Okay. Well, the stretch goals, we hit two of the stretch goals. The stretch goals are uh, trading cards. The first trading card was a tank ferret R. Next one was El Guapo. I think right up to that, we're going to... It's going on. uh, $2,000 increments. So at $1,000, we'll get the Josh Gritz Arts. And after that, we have Pope Raven. Mm -hmm. We'll be at $7,000. At $9,000, we'll finally get the card that everybody's waiting for. It's card right here which is amazing where is that card this is by trusty sidekick this was super yeah, cool. awesome yeah it's a good piece he did he did this uh this is the second time he did this piece the first time he did it yep had... so <laughs> I'll trust you. i love this piece this is an amazing piece but unfortunately we can't use Pepula pew and when he changed it to manny the manatee i was like this is this is amazing so yeah that, uh, that is cute that's yeah. awesome it is and and what's so and so awesome about Trusty the other day I didn't know I I went well it was yesterday I went to my mailbox I I mean I got I got this package and I saw his name on it I'm like oh no don't tell me he gave me the original to the Pepe Le Pew I have that that is awesome oh sweet sweet is, I mean, it is awesome. a nice piece dude, dude. It, is, it is creepy and the manatee beautiful. is really good too it's nice dude oh yeah the man is amazing uh <sighs> so after. It's this stretch goal that's thousand at the ten ten thousand dollar mark. I will. I am trying to do. We're gonna do a thirty two page uh, just for the USO. I'm gonna donate to the USO or newsprint copy uh, just for the USO, and it's gonna come out of my pocket. I'm not asking anybody for any any contributions. We'll we'll do this USO thirty two page newsprint version. Cool. Yeah. So that's another goal. Sure. Awesome. Cool, dude. Yeah, it is cool, dude. Hey, uh, now I'm going to come hey, back over here and uh, um, uh, I'm going to let Brad uh, go for a little bit, but I'm going to show Booster in a minute. Uh, but um, uh, yeah, no, it, it's really cool. The community built up, all the fan art around it and stuff. And uh, uh, I think it's uh, we've had a lot of fun. We're really happy to see it's finally here. And we're happy that it's successful so far, too, dude. Oh, it's, it's, it's not only me. I mean, it's all the guys that are surrounding me that's been retweeting my stuff, who's been out there talking about it. My wife has to put up with me mm-hmm. all the long hours. <laughs> she puts up with me. Woman. I can't YouTube. believe it. That poor woman. She, she <laughs> is a YouTube widow, pretty much. I mean, she's putting up with all this craziness that's been going on for the last how many months. Yeah, so 
I, I know. I mean, you can't just do this on your own. That's for sure. You you need you need a lot of people believing in you and helping you out. That's for sure. Absolutely. And I'm grateful for it. It's, it's amazing. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a great community we got here. Uh, let me see here. Uh, uh, I did have another uh, chat pop up. Uh, Junkyard Dunn says, uh, I'll use some vulgar language, but the, the C word uh, makes uh, makes me cringe. Uh, my wife used it once. Uh, my wife once said uh, it to me because someone told her it sounds like uh, canto. Uh, my brain uh, uh, just shut down for a few minutes. Uh, well, canto, uh, this kanji you have up here in the <laughs> chat, canto is actually the name of a region. It's a, it's kind of like uh, the the Midwest, you know, type of uh, thing. Uh, it has no relation to that word at all, dude. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, you mean Kanto from Pokemon? Uh, Kanto yep. would be the proper pronunciation, but uh, okay. Kanto, it's the first region of Pokemon. That's that's what it is. Is it? I didn't know that. Well, Kanto yeah. is the uh, kind of like uh, on Honshu. It's the northeast side of uh, Honshu. It's called Kanto region. Mm. So. Canto region. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Awesome. Canto. All right. Fine, guys. It is definitely Canto, but you can argue me if you'd like. If you canto. want to be wrong, argue with me. How's that? How's that? No. You're triggering canto. me, sir. Damn it. I'm gonna get a rat out of there. I'm done, by the way. Are you? All right, let me come back over yeah. to you. Would you like uh, to see it? I'm going. I'm going. To, I'm coming over. Here we go. I don't think we want to see it. Now, I, I do right. apologize well, ahead of time, done. chat. Uh, this is going to be painful, and uh, you might want to cover your eyes. Uh, we'll tell you when it's over. <clears throat> go. Yeah. Get a button. My God, dude. Here it is. It is His, really, she is really <laughs> disturbing. This is Chunk Ezra Lord. in a July the Fourth bikini celebrating America. Happy birthday, <sighs> Sith White America. <laughs> That's wrong, dude. I, I love how flat the breasts are, too. It's just perfect. Well, Ezra Miller doesn't have breasts. He might. Give him time. <laughs> so yeah, seriously. Yeah, that dude is like straight that. out whack. He Give has the money time. for him. He does. He does. He's quite he the money. But I think he has to wait because it sounds like he might be Flash after all. Again. Why? Gross. Uh. <laughs> because uh. I guess. Actually, I, I mean, he didn't. Uh, he was. Uh, the writing was odd. I don't. Uh, as far as acting, I don't think Ezra's a bad actor at all. Uh, he's just a fruitcake, and I don't mean that because he's gay. I mean that because he's a fruitcake. He's insane. The dude dresses like a damn plastic bug and walks around in in, in public with it. It's out of his mind. It's very strange, and that's why we love him here. I guess. We do love him here, yeah. He's our mascot. Okay, let, let, let's cleanse the elegance. This is what it's supposed to look like. Thanks a lot, Booster. <laughs> Here's the original, by the way. Here's I, I what... didn't realize what he was doing. I was yeah. like, oh, that's my... He's copying it, yeah. <laughs> my skunk girl, Why? Oh, no, Lord, right, you right. <laughs> okay, I'm back over on Brad for a little bit, and I'm going to jump over to uh, uh, Rick here in a minute. minute. Uh, Shinobi Raccoon says, oh, my eyes, Booster, you monster. Yeah, I do agree. <laughs> yes. Um, I waited Jeff- a long time to draw this. I know you have. Uh, that's that is true, dude. Uh, now, uh, Junkyard Dunn says Ezra was at Tokyo Comic Con, and I think my four-year-old took a liking to him. Well, dude, I was at Tokyo Comic Con, and I actually saw uh, 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 Ezra in person. He's very teeny. He's extremely teeny. Uh, but I actually, literally, was standing on the uh, side of the main aisle, and he was—I'm not joking—prancing down the alley with a just crowd of screaming girls behind him as he pranced. And I felt so bad for those girls. I was like, girls, he's not interested. I'm sorry, girls. But they were just <laughs> mad for him, dude. Uh, but he was literally prancing. I don't think I've ever seen a man prance before. Pretty sure mm-hmm. it was the first time. I don't know, you, mm-hmm. Jiminy, do you prance on a daily basis? Not on a daily basis, but whenever I want to embarrass my wife, I'll do it in public. Oh, will you? <laughs> wow. <laughs> he's, he's honest about it. Oh, yeah. Part of the fun of being married, embarrassing, embarrassing your wife. So, 
that that is part of the benefits. Uh, I'm moving over here to uh, down to Rick. Rick, you are white box. Why do you keep want in to mind, hurt guys. The people again. We have 25. Don't hurt the people. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Shade is being thrown. Uh, we uh, we do have uh, oh, shade. twenty-five it's a minutes left. Twenty-five minutes. Shadow. Explain that to me, sir. Well, I mean, shade means you know, it's anger, you know, towards him, you know, or derogatory. I'm just casting a broad shadow over his artwork. Oh, I see. So it's more like me on a mountain, and you know, he's below. Something like that. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. Okay. okay, I get it. So, Rick, are you gonna take that? So. Are you gonna take that, Rick? No. Uh, hey, I'm. I'd say I'm done. And you know, like I've included the Skunkmobile. I've included one of the different villains. I've got Stink, Stank, Stunk, and O. Henry. He does. He does. Okay. No, he does. You got me beat there, buddy. No, Sorry, man. <laughs> Stink, <laughs> stank, stunk, and O. Henry. Uh, Manny, explain yourself. Uh, he's given away too much secrets. I'm oh my God! Like Spoilers. Yeah. Spoilers. Spoilers. Nice. Nice, Rick. <laughs> oh, is there... I don't know what she's doing in MB though. That's not her car. <laughs> like, oh my lord! But she does have her henchmen. She does every henchman stink, stank, and stunk. That's her little uh, skunk, uh, skunks out there. Yeah. I, so I was more interested in O. o Henry. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Uh, we are moving on. We, we've <laughs> moved on. <laughs> I'm voting Rick on Candy Cody XS. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. Uh, moving over here to Ghost of Henry uh, again. Uh, and we have finished the art, and we now are doing Patrick Starfish. Uh, awesome. Is he Patrick, is he, oh, it's Patrick Lone Starfish? I get it. I get it. I get, I get the joke. It's cute, actually. No further comments, uh, Ghost? No, 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 no. Uh, it's just something I did for Mike uh, uh, drawing along when he was doing a tutorial. I see. Well, that's cool. And uh, I know that uh, Mike, uh, I, I don't get to watch much of Mike's shows because he's either on earlier when I'm not awake or he's on later when I have to, after my shows where I have to run off to work. Uh, you know, of course, uh, I do make time in my schedule for t this uh, show, the 10 p.m. show. Uh, but we, and of course, usually Mike goes ahead and streams during this one, even though we are his fan edition. So what are you doing, Mike? Come go over there and lick him or something. Lick him. Lick him. I said it. I said it. Send booster. Send I booster. will send booster. There you go. That's a killer piece, Ghost. That's really beautiful, dude. And you went the grayscale like uh, Brad does too. Yeah. I don't know, Brad. Yeah, do you have? have? Uh, you I, don't. That's what I, I was just about to say. Right, right. No, I think it's fine. It looks good, dude. Uh, Brad, you got 18 minutes, dude. 18 minutes. Oh, that's uh, it? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh. I might have to pull a pull a Jiminy. A little Jiminy. You might have to pull a Jiminy. Yeah, there's a yeah, term, term for you, for you hey, now, man. Jiminy. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> don't be wrong with that, though. I want to make sure that good to Manny, dude. Manny's been good to me. I want to be good to him. So, yeah. He, he, uh, Brad is on the the bearing cover. Is he There's awesome, a whole dude? Bunch of people on the... Yes, he is. Handyman made a prince on the cover. You got to go look for him. I found him though. It. It's like, where is Handyman? Come him? on, come on, dude. I think I'm not going to look for Handyman. Of course, I'm going to look for Handyman. I know he's there. You've got a good position. I envy you. <laughs> I guess. Who did who did this uh, uh, all in encompassing uh, cover? Who did it? Uh, Tank Fair did the the original paint uh, pencils and inks, and I did the color. Yeah. Do you have it? Can you bring it up so we can take a look at it? Yeah, it's on there right now. It's it's on. Oh, this screen. is the one you have up. All right, let me bring it up here. 
Uh, let's take a look. All right, so who we got? Uh, we got Skunk Girl has killed them all, of course. That's uh, I get the joke. Ha ha ha. Uh, we have a uh, little. Um, uh, we have uh, Slick Jimmy's character there. Little uh, what's her name? Little girl lethal. Little girl, little girl lethal. lethal. That's right. Uh, <clears throat> I'm assuming there's a Lone Star in here somewhere. Uh, uh, you assume it's, this is only for the. I call us the the lower tier guys. You know the up and comers. Oh, I That's see. Who we are. So I see. Oh, okay. there's no upper tier guys on the. There's no upper tier guys on this cover. These, this is our community. This, this is all us. We're in there. I see. Uh, so. so um... Uh, you have uh, a Pope uh, fire sitting right here. I recognize that. Mm -hmm. I see some God in the distance. That must be me. Uh, let me see here. Uh, <laughs> I see a very dead uh, 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 handyman. He's very dead. Uh, I see a a chicken, a rooster, a cock, maybe. That's probably what it is. Oh. Um, oh. Yeah. I that, see, that is uh, from Kaya. Oh, is it? Okay. I see uh, Niobe, I think. Yes, sir. You do see a Niobe. Sweet. Where's the Piper? The Piper has a very good position. Yes, um, is sitting right mm -hmm. on him. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. you can oh, say, the, uh, I, she's, see. I see it. I you see can it see now. she's giving him a hand job. I, I, oh, I no, no, that's <laughs> no, no. Once again, no, Let's Rick. That. Let's not say no. that. No, uh, I see Booster no, sitting here very prominently in the front. Uh, that's his oiled version, isn't it? No, no. There's a uh, there's a wee burb. You can see the kiwi burb. burb. Yeah, he's getting his his gonads being squashed by Skunk Girl. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he's also looking mm -hmm. right at Skunk Girl's butt, so he's into that. Yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> So I mean, we got we got Darwin from Willie Reed. We have KGs on the cover. We have uh, Avani from Rebel Comics. Uh, we have on there what else? Uh, we do have an Edwin Boyet in a very good position. He's being caressed by Little Girl Lethal. Mm. Uh, we have Friendly Neighborhood Ninja. We have a uh, Bill Argos Creation. One of his characters is up there. Mm -hmm. Scalpel Zero, and we have uh, ERT's character on there also. Yeah. Sweet, nice. Oh, and, and Best Street, the big big dude in the in the front is Best Street. Best Street. The big dude in the back is my guy, Atlas. And we do have Lady Death on there. We do have Dina. Dina's on there also. Oh, sweet, sweet, awesome, dude. Uh, that is cool. I love to see these things come together with all the characters uh, and people uh, from the community. It's nice, dude. <clears throat> Who did this again? Yeah. Uh, it was. It was Tank Ferret did the pencils and the ink, and then I did the color. Sweet. Yeah. All right. Nice. And that was a pain in the butt. It took me a whole week to color this. Uh, when you got this many characters, this many colors, it's not. I mean, coloring a page is fun, but when you got this kind of, it's it's crazy. <laughs> well, you do realize you got to pencil me somewhere in here, right? You got to you got to put you got to put the bugbear in here somewhere, dude. I don't see a bugbear. Oh, I don't Lord. see him. Oh Lord. I feel left oh, out. <laughs> well, you weren't there when I was getting all the permission, dude. Okay. Fine. I had to get everybody permission fine. before I did fine. this. You guys see how I've been snubbed. You all see it. Everyone sees it. Complain. <clears throat> Chester, right. Chester gets the link. Gets the link. Yeah, he got he got <laughs> Booster, but he couldn't get Chester. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Booster's right. almost on my show. That's true. Well, I have been in com in, I have been been incommunicado, dude. My uh, new job, uh, uh, it just takes too much of my time. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, but uh, that's really cool. I love these kind of things. I actually love the first one. What do they call it? The uh, Comics Alliance or what it was? The first one they did with the uh, Mike and Ethan and all those guys. Uh, the, I love these kind of things. It's cool. Uh, this is community. Uh, this is community you know, bonding type of thing. It's really fun. Uh, and uh, actually, uh, Tank did a really good job on the Pope fire there. We can't see her face, but uh, uh, he mm -hmm. did a really good job on that. That's a nice, uh, nice, very nice. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, um, I'm coming back over here to Ghost. And uh, go, oh, that's right, Ghost is out. We already saw that. We're going to move over here to Jiminy. Sorry. Uh, whoa, Jiminy. Uh, Jiminy, you do realize you have like uh, 14, 15 minutes. Left, I know. Right? I know, I know, I know. Yeah, Jimmy and I are doing the uh, same thing today. We're waiting. You're killing me. I, I'm not killing you at all, sir. Uh, you know exactly the <laughs> format here. Thank you very much. <laughs> Jimmy put that up on his channel. That's what he's doing. He's smart. Yeah. Actually, I am gonna I am gonna finish this up on my channel if I don't finish it here. Yep. So. 
be smart. You know so stay that. tuned after after Drawing Forward Fan Edition. Go to Illustration by Design, where I'll be finishing up this drawing. Possibly. Awesome. If I'm not if I'm not finished by the end. <laughs> cool. Yeah, see, Char see, I got people standing up for me. They're all complaining that I'm not in the picture. I agree with you. I agree. Uh, but um, uh, Jiminy, uh, yeah, I love the USO uh, yeah. feel that you got going on here for this. Actually, it's pretty cool. Thanks. Yeah, hopefully, uh, well, I want, eh, I want to put an American flag behind her. Hopefully, I'll be able to do it in the stream. I probably won't. So, again, go to Illustration by Design after this, and I'll be finishing it there. Sweet. Awesome. Uh, it is a great piece, as usual, from Jiminy here, though. We uh, we love to see his art. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And, Thanks uh, for we... inviting me. Thanks for letting me on. So I oh, wanted welcome. to draw for a while. Oh. Awesome. Well, you're always welcome. You know that, dude. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And the people uh, people love it, too. They love to not vote for you. That seems to be the, uh, <laughs> the standard for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You guys are too kind. You're too kind. They are. They are. Uh, which I never get because you you do some. You've done some of the best pieces we've had on the show. Actually, uh, I still <laughs> love that uh, Black Manta you did. That was such a cool piece, dude. Well, maybe if you finish the pieces, Sorry. they might vote for it. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> You're getting shade from Rick Piper, just <laughs> so you know. Right. It's the patriarchy, Chester. Yeah. It is the patriarchy. Rick. People keep telling me about it. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't I haven't experienced it quite yet, but I've been told about it. So there you go. You are okay, the... cool. I am the patriarchy. Is that what it is? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I am the patriarchy. All right, fine. Uh, of course, that'd being be cool, born male, cool I know. Name. What'd you say? That'd be a cool villain name, like a name of a, like a villain this team or something. The patriarchy. Yeah, it could be. It could even be an individual. See, even someone like Tank Farron or Manny could have put a, a character in there called the uh, the patriarch that kind of looked like me. They could have done that, right? They could have done that. Yeah, but they true. didn't have permission. <laughs> so, you know. Well, you, you know there will be an issue too. So we gotta uh -huh, work on uh -huh, that. Uh -huh. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. Fine. It's always mm -hmm. time. No, everybody else time, is in there, but I'm not in there. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Chester is biased. I am, damn it. Uh, Shinobi <laughs> says, Chester, I feature you in a drawing during my stream, but your character isn't a ninja. I could be a ninja. I would be a very bulky ninja, but a ninja nevertheless. <laughs> sort of like Beverly Hills ninja? Not while I'm not that chunky, uh, but I, I actually, I look a lot, uh, 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 Manny and I look very similar, actually. I got a little more paunch than he does, though. Actually, you lost your paunch. The last picture I saw oh, you, yeah. dude. Uh, but uh, yeah. if you look at uh, Manny before he got himself thinner here, uh, uh, I look just like Manny, actually. <clears throat> Even his wife said that, which is interesting, because mm -hmm. she knows him better than anybody. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, uh, mm -hmm. Michael, you are being uh, white box dude. Uh, looks like you've finished your piece, huh? Yep. Yeah. So how have you enjoyed the show today? We've had some laughs. We've uh, talked a lot about Skunk Girl, a little bit about Independence Day. Uh, and, of course, I haven't asked you what you did for Independence Day. So tell us. Uh, we just uh, I went, we know, went over to my parents' house, ate some pizza, uh, swam in the pool. Cool. Uh, that was basically Okay, now hold on a second, Michael. Uh, what part of America are you from that you eat pizza on Independence Day? Uh, New the York. Kind of, the kind of weird you lazy cook stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the area. Uh, honest. It is the area. Uh, uh, now, do you have good pizza in your area, or are you unfortunately near Chicago? Uh, it's, oh, I'm, I'm in Indiana, Ouch. so uh, we got like basically like the big chain pizzas. We got like Pizza Hut. Oh, uh, I see. Just, so, so you suffer. You suffer. I can understand. I feel I'm bad. Sorry for about that. that. That's, that's a shame. Yeah. It is a shame. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is a shame. Uh, but it, you know, I I do joke about Chicago and their all absolutely awful non-pizza th casserole that they eat. Uh, but uh, truly, the worst pizza in America is in California. Those people screw everything up. Uh, but uh, what about you, Jimmy? Yeah. I didn't ask you. Uh, how was your Independence Day? That's good. I didn't do anything. I just stayed home. No barbecue, no Very fireworks, relaxing. nothing. No fireworks, no barbecue. Just stayed home. Um, what did I do? I slept in, um, and uh, watched TV. Saw the parade uh, that uh, Washington parade. Yeah, it was thing. nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was fun. 
You know, oh. I, holidays for me, I enjoy them when I, when I don't have to go anywhere or do anything. Mm-hmm. So, and, and doing barbecues and stuff, it's like, eh, I'll go to barbecues, but I, I, I don't really, I don't know. I prefer, I'm a homebody, so if I can just stay home and not have to worry about anything, I'm happy. Well, there you go. There you go. And being an artist helps there you, you out quite a bit, right? You can stay home all day. Um, Joshua exactly. does have a really good question for it's Michael. Uh, Michael, was your pizza pizza barbecue pizza? <laughs> no, it was just. Uh, ah, see, you, you missed it. You messed you it up, Michael. Pizza. Now, what uh, you wanted to yeah, say was yes, yeah, it was. Exactly. Okay, I'll give you. I'll give you a, give you a second chance. Bit. I'm going to give you a second chance. Here we go, Michael. Was it barbecue pizza you had? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, there you uh, go. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. officially oh. American again. Uh, awesome. Yeah, uh, <laughs> America. America. That's funny. Uh, let me see. Uh, much better than St. Louis style pizza. Uh, yeah, you know, really the best pizza in America is coming out of New England and uh, New York area, you know, Pennsylvania. Uh, that's really the best pizza. But there are some good other places in America, too. Uh, Chicago is just not pizza, though. It's a, literally a tomato casserole. It's not pizza. I don't know what's wrong with those people. <laughs> uh, but um, anyway, uh, how about you? Uh, let me come over here to tomato Pablo. Casserole. Now, of course, we know uh, Pablo is uh, from Venezuela, uh, probably, in my oh. opinion, Opinion, maybe I'm the best Argentina. barbecuers on the planet. Where are you from? I'm sorry, no, Argentina. not Venezuela, Argentina. Yeah, I'm, 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 that's my mistake. Uh, <laughs> no. no, ouch, man. I well, was like, no, what? <laughs> no, he knows I know where he's from because I, my wife and I want to take a trip to Argentina. Now, you talk about good barbecue. <laughs> These people don't know how to do a steak, man. Argentina kills it, dude. Uh, so, um, yeah. of course, uh, this is mm-hmm. not your holiday, but um, uh, in your country, uh, I'm sure you have some manner Independence Day or Constitution Day or something like that. Uh, so what do you guys do on that day? Yep. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing at all. I, mean, uh, I think uh, it's going to be a military parade or something. Uh, military parade. Yeah, yeah sure. Why not? In right. July... Uh, Ninth. Ooh. July 9th. July 9th. July 9th. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Yeah, but uh, that's your winter, <laughs> though. That's winter time for you guys, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so oh, it's wow. like the it's middle of winter. I forgot. Southern Hemisphere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Southern Hemisphere, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but um, you know, for the folks here who don't know anything about Argentinian barbecue, though, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about how? Because you guys do it different than we do. Uh, many places do. Japanese do it different too. Uh, but you guys got a very interesting mm-hmm. style down there. And uh, um, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about that, if you could? I don't know what what you want to know exactly. Well, like <laughs> you, well, you guys, uh, what because I've seen, I don't know. The American version. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Well, I know that your barbecue, a lot of you guys, like on your patio, uh, you'll have like an actual oven built into the patio. And you guys will have these like racks and you'll do uh, barbecue uh, on the patio uh, oven all the time. It's like a very standard thing for you guys to do. Uh, Very serious construction going on down there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. People like... Oh, I thought cool. that. They, they, they have that. Yeah. 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 No, it's really great. Like, like Americans do in their backyard? There, there is that. There is also another version that uh, they put the, 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 the meat on, on a stick in the ground with the mm. fire. Yeah. Yeah. The... Yeah. Gotcha. Like next to, the, yeah, next yeah. to the fire. Yeah. That's become more popular. Um, huh? Oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, there is also the uh, they do the the, the meat uh, with with the skin. Yeah, the kiln. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Uh, the the oven or kiln. Uh, the uh, they have uh, a lot of the houses down in uh, Argentina have these wonderful uh, ovens or kilns built into the uh, kind of patio area of their house. Uh, and uh, yeah. it's serious okay, cool. business, man. Yeah, they 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 take it very yeah. seriously. Uh, and of course, they have some great beef as well. Awesome, very cool. Yeah. And I'm coming to visit one day. 
I'm coming down to Argentina. My <laughs> wife and I are going to. I'm serious. <laughs> you know, because my wife and I, we're we staying both, with you. <laughs> yeah, we're staying in your house, dude. Uh, but uh, no, my wife and I are, uh, definitely have planned uh, because my kids are out of the house now, and we can start planning these kind of things. But uh, uh, my wife and I are going to take some food vacate food trips, right? And uh, one of the mm. food places we both really want to go is Argentina. Uh, so it's like on the top of the list for that. Um, you know, we live over here in Asia and we go to China right. all the time. So, you know, that's a great food place too. But Argentina has got really, really great food down there. Uh, but anyway, uh, also, Pablo, your piece is absolutely killer. Uh, Manny, what do you think of what uh, Pablo has done today? Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Pablo kills it every time. He does, man. Pablo is amazing. Yeah, you know. beautiful. Five minutes, by the way, guys. Five minutes. Great, great art, Pablo. Yeah. And I always love, I love how in your piece, you always put the geometrical images in the back. Uh, they really do break it up and add a level of, well, I don't know, professionalism, I guess. Um, I like when you do that, actually. It's really cool. Why do you do that? Yeah, for the reason I just said, or, or it's just you like he, it? He does that all the, he does that all the time on my program. You, you give him a compliment, and he does it's silence. It's crickets. <laughs> well, that's all right. He does, that's all right. But I'm just because he does this, and I, I like it though. I like it, and I see all the artists do it as well. It really pulls the image out. It makes it more professional seeming. I, I, I like the idea. Mm -hmm. You know, it's cool. Yeah, I, I do it because uh, yeah, it's, it, it go, looks good. It does look good. You're right. Also it's... because also because uh, he was uh, something. The artist did in the eighties. So, uh, yeah, it does feel eighties. You're right. It it definitely has that feel. Uh, that's yeah. cool. Uh, I do see John Chedister is here uh, talking about uh, roadside uh, uh, Nayama. Uh, Nayama uh, Chroma is good. Uh, it's roasted meat, often a chicken leg uh, roasted on sticks, as for seasoning. Trade secret. Sweet. Yeah, no, they got really good food down there. Yeah. Okay, uh, Scott is saying he's completely done. Uh, so as another reminder, guys, uh, we, are, of course, are doing a draw along as we do every week. Uh, and oh, if you yeah. have been drawing along, please make sure you drop that on hashtag DNQFE. Hashtag DNQFE. Just drop it right on the Twitter, and we'll take a look at it after. Now, uh, here in uh, three minutes, uh, we're going to be calling it, guys. And uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to go back, and uh, I'm going to take this off of... Uh, Pablo right now. Uh, but uh, when we're done, I'm going to go back and I'm going to let you see each piece of art very clearly. And then after I'm done with that, Booster is going to drop the straw poll, which I'm sure he's been a very good boy and is finished and looking beautiful. Uh, and uh, you guys are going to go over there and vote. Now, keep in mind uh, that the straw poll is free. Uh, you don't have to download anything. Just click the button. Uh, and when it comes up in the chat, make your vote and come on back. If you're like on an iPhone or something, you have to come back. Uh, but um, it's easy to do, guys. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, so definitely get there and in there and vote. And uh, the winner, of course, will be going over uh, to uh, Mike Miller's uh, uh, Drone Recorder Pro Edition and uh, representing us. And, of course, representing themselves. Uh, now, uh, yesterday, they were doing uh, uh, gender-swapping patriotic characters, which is funny. Uh, who won, by the way? It was a tie between um, uh, John Malin and uh, John uh, Dillard. So it was a tie. So Dillard came over there, did his S&M porn, and he, and he came in, in first place. All right. This is what the yeah, world has come to. He basically did a Pope fire as, a, as Lone Star. And he showed oh her butt. Gosh. And he showed her butt. All right, sweet. Well, there you go. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> People loved it. Isn't Pope Fire a minor? No, uh, she's not. <laughs> she's a major. She's a major, especially in that drawing. Well, yeah, but from my point of view, she is a minor. That's a young one right there. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, yeah. Well, you're 90, so, yeah. So, <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, hey, man. I, I, chilling and chilling. Children are children. That's what I got to say about it. Children are chilling. <laughs> yeah, just leave them be, oh, man. Leave the babies alone. Yeah. Well, John Diller is closer to her age, so I guess it's fine. He is. That's true. And so is Booster, of course. He's uh, very so close to her. He's similar. Only a few. Booster, you're only a few years no older than her, I think. No comment. Yes. You are. You are young, yeah. dude. You are. Mm -hmm. Mm 
That that is still disturbing, what, what, dude. Damn it. What is what is McCrank's uh, Twitter handle? Um, McCrank uh, is at uh, McCrank, I think. Uh, I will I will check that out after the show okay. uh, for you. But uh, okay. yeah, I, I love McCrank. I'm, look, I'm looking at some of the the fan art, and oh my lord. Yeah, McCrank's cool, dude. Be careful, be be careful, Chester. <laughs> oh no, no, I'm not. It's PG thirteen plus, dude. We're good to go. We're good to go. Oh, and and besides, okay, you are ultimately perfectly safe because Booster is in charge of the filtering. Well, don't you feel better now? <laughs> oh yeah, works. Yeah, so can I, right? Right. All right, guys, we've come. To... Sorry. Oh, no, no, no! Don't That's be okay. sorry. I'm happy John. to hear that. Looks like yeah. looks like we're offline. Uh, the stream apparently went offline. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. No way! Come on. Yeah. It did. No, we it went offline. Oh no! It's, it's fine. Going. It's fine, dude. We're back. back. Yeah, it's no problem. Uh, sorry about that little scare there, guys. Uh, but I will get through this quick. If we're having some kind of trouble, let me uh, go ahead and get it. Probably lag on Chester's end. Uh, it might be. Uh, we do get a little trouble here. Unfortunately, this is some entire... fiber internet, buddy. Uh, well, I would love to. And I have it coming over the mountain in two a uh, year and a half. So, yeah, thank you very much. I've been lobbying the local government to get it, actually. Uh, but anyway, let me get through this quick in case we do lose it. I don't, let's get it done. Uh, but this is uh, Pablo's piece here. Uh, looks really good. Uh, if you guys want to vote for Pablo, uh, please do. It's beautiful. Uh, then we have Michael's piece. And I'll come back and show them more while you guys are voting. Don't worry about it. Uh, we have Michael's piece here. Uh, really nice-looking skunk girl giving you a little bit of uh, a uh, uh, putrid uh, love heart kiss that's that's disgusting uh but thank you very much michael <laughs> looks really good dude good looking piece uh we have jiminy cricket who now has tank girl with a skunk tail up her butt so awesome thank you jiminy it's very good uh okay all right uh it's a very nice piece though you guys like it please get over there and vote for it uh we have ghost of henry putting out a beautiful sexy uh looking uh skunk girl here uh very nice ghost very nice if you guys like this please definitely go over and vote for it uh and uh this is from uh rick piper or cross comics of course he's canadian but don't hold that against him uh if you like what uh, rick has got going on and uh get over there and vote for him okay uh, then, of course, we have Brad Ashworth uh, with his hey, uh, with his buxom beauty prancing across the uh, page there. Uh, if you guys <clears throat> like what he's doing, definitely go vote for him. Uh, this I know you like what I'm doing. Yeah. It's oh. a bit. Having all sorts of problems. Uh, yeah, I I'm... put the stroke off anyway because it seems like you got through them all. I did, I did, I did. Uh, so definitely vote, yeah. guys. I don't know if you can hear me or not. It seems to be dropping in and out. Uh, it's saying it's offline right now. Right. Damn it. <sighs> because I'm getting a bunch of drop drop frame right over here. I'm actually sitting at 95% drop frame late. Oh, uh, we're coming back. We're back. Uh, we do apologize. Uh, we're having some trouble here in Japan. Uh, that straw poll is in the chat, guys. Please get over there and vote. Uh, so at least we can have the vote and send someone over. Again. No. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, again. It's probably the internet because uh, they're having those earthquakes in California. So. Are they? Today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you telling me that Silicon Valley might be swallowed by the ocean? No. Could be. Say it isn't so. It be horrible. Um, yeah, they had a six forty in California. Wow. All right. Okay, I voted. So they're saying they're able to vote. Let me get over here and uh, see if I can't grab.